Why'd you kill the music? I think you know why. Um, <laughs> I don't think I do. It begins with an L? Like the L word? Lesbians? Lost, Max. We're lost. We're just, we're in geographic flux. Right, so, lost. That's debatable. Oh, heads up. Nice catch there, Han. I'm not the one who hit the pothole. Well, maybe the pothole hit us. Ever think about that? Wow, that is like Olympic level goalpost moving. Thank you. Very impressive. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, still totally lost. <sighs> you know what, Max? It's okay. It doesn't make you any less of a man. You know, if Columbus hadn't gone lost and landed on these golden shores, there would be no United States of America. Goodbye, hot dogs. See you later, apple pie. Columbus never actually landed in North America. What are you talking about? Didn't even know he wasn't in Asia. Are you serious? Just another guy who didn't want to admit he was lost. Well, just another guy who's got a whole day named after him, so put that in your pipe and smoke it. Oh my god. Okay, just get us to camp already before I roll my eyes out of my head, please. <laughs> I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Were there any directions on the flyer? No, just a fake bunch of kids faking it around a fake fire pit. Checks out. Everything okay? Yeah, all good. Hey, eyes on the road, mister. Oh. Jesus Christ, what do you think that was? A bear? What? No, no, Max, it wasn't a bear. What was it? I think it was a person. Lord, are you serious? Do you think we hit a person? I don't know. I mean, it was really cl close, like really close, but maybe we didn't. What is it? I really have this car up. Well, maybe it looks worse than it is. Uh, I should check out the damage before we try to start it up again, huh? Could you grab my, uh, the, the toolbox from the trunk? Yeah, yeah, okay. Thanks, huh? Yeah. Do you need a hand? Yeah, actually, if you could just shine a light right here. Here you go. Perfect, thank you. The sooner we get out of here, the better. Just picture yourself curling up in front of a big old fire pit singing campfire sing-alongs. I don't think people curl up right in front of big old fire pits. Why not? Uh, they don't want to catch on fire. And then picture yourself curling up in front of a big old space heater. Well, anywhere is better than here. Where are you going? Just over here. Just stay there for a second, okay? I'm almost done. What? You're not the boss of me. I just don't want you wandering off on your own. Excuse me. That's not what I meant. Yeah, better not be. I, I'm sorry. I, I really got to concentrate for a okay. second, okay? Yes. 
Look, I think there's someone down there, okay? What's that? They could be hurt. I'm gonna go check it out. Good idea, Laura. So thoughtful of you. Hey, why are you shouting? What? No, but I heard something. Let's just get out of here. Come on! Oh God, I thought you said you checked it! I did check it, and it was fine. Honey, I know you're on edge, but you gotta calm down, okay? I am not on edge, Max. I'm freaking the fuck out! It was probably just an animal or no, something. No, it wasn't an animal! You didn't see it! It was a woman! Lord, or... this isn't helping, all right? Go! There we go! We're good! See? Please just get us out of here. Okay. I'm trying, I'm trying. We're okay. We're safe in the car, really. We're gonna be okay. Jesus! Oh, <gasps> fuck. Oh my god, my heart just exploded. Roll it down. Hi, officer. How are you doing this evening? Are either of you injured? No, uh, well, she bumped her head. Well, barely, barely bumped it. I mean, I, can, I can't even feel it. My bump, not my head. I'm fine. Really, we're fine. We're just a little shaken up. Mm -hmm. Well, you folks want to tell me what happened here? Uh, well, we were just driving, and it's really, really dark out here, and, um, I don't know, we, we must have hit, like, a, a pothole or something, because we swerved, and now here we are. I mean, I'm, these roads are really not in great shape. Yeah. Sir? Keep the 
car running. Sir? Is this kind of like the all-time scariest cop? I don't know. This is my first cop. What, like ever? Uh, yeah, I'm not a criminal. Now you folks want to tell me just what in the hell you are doing all the way out here this late at night. We were just taking in the sights, officer. Is that a crime? Ma'am, I'm going to take it by the tone of your voice that you were unaware that this is an open season hunting zone until tomorrow. Oh, shit. Uh, no, didn't know that. <laughs> We were kind of lost, actually. What is your intended destination? We're headed up to Hackett's Quarry. Hmm. Not the camp. It's a free place to stay, so, yeah. <sighs> You're not gonna make it to Hackett's Quarry. Not tonight. Harbinger Motel. It's the nearest place you can bunk up there for the night, okay? Uh, I think we're just gonna stick to the plan, sir. I mean, Mr. Hackett knows we're coming and we called ahead. No, ma'am, you're gonna head to the Harbinger Motel. Do you understand? With all due respect, sir, why can't we go to Hackett's Quarry? Because I told you to go to the motel. Okay, I just don't understand what the problem- Ma'am, please step out of the vehicle. Whoa. What? Why? Officer, she didn't do anything. Ma'am. If you wouldn't mind stepping out of the vehicle, I would just like to show you a route on your map there. Okay. For sure. Son, remain in the vehicle. It's okay. It's okay. I got it. Okay. Okay, so we are right about here, Harbinger Motel is here. Right, okay, and where was Hackett's Quarry again? Well, I'm sure the fine folks at the Harbinger Motel can guide you there first thing in the morning. Still, please. What are you doing? Hold still. Excuse me. Ma'am. I can take care of myself. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. You can return to your vehicle now, ma'am. Harbinger Motel. Stay on the road. Watch out for potholes. Don't you need like Have a statement? Have a good night. Why is this guy just sitting there? Thanks for all your help, though, back there. What is that supposed to mean? You were shaking like a broken washing machine. I could have used a little backup. I mean, he clearly liked you better. 
Well, I'm very likable. All right, let's get back on the road. Yes. I think I've had enough woodland encounters for one night. Thank you very much. Agreed. So where's this motel? Okay, so we're here, mm -hmm. and the motel is here. Okay. But we're going here. What's there? Hackett's Quarry. How'd you do that? I don't know. I kind of tricked him into showing me. <laughs> very slick. Are you sure we shouldn't just get to the motel and just listen to this guy's advice? Honey, you really want to listen to the advice of some creep-ass cop who told us in the middle of the creep-ass woods to go to some creep-ass hotel? No, that sounds terrible. Yeah. Let's hit the road, shall we? That's what I thought. Ma'am. Oh my god! If he called me ma'am one more time, I was gonna shove that badge up his dick hole. <laughs> Seriously, do I look like a ma'am to you? I got like 20 years before I'm a ma'am. Mm-hmm. What? I... 20s debatable. Easy. I mean, I'm kind of into mams. Okay, we're done here. You gotta be kidding me, there's nobody here. If we drive all the way the fuck out Max, here- Max, can we just look around before we jump to conclusions? Did you actually even talk to Mr. Hackett or did you just leave a message? Well, what's the difference? This, this is the difference. Hello? I guess he doesn't check his voicemail. How was I supposed to know that? I mean, clearly there's somebody here. Yeah, or it's just an abandoned car and this is a complete waste Why of time. Why would there be an abandoned? I'll beat the car. Max, come on. Max, don't be a dick. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Hey, you ready to roll? I don't know, you just said tools. Why didn't you just bring the... Look, there's someone in there. Um, I'm not seeing anyone. What? No, look. I'm looking, I am. Let me see. There, there was definitely someone there. Okay, okay, so... Hammer time. You sure? It's gonna be super loud. So? Someone's trapped. Wow, that was super loud. <laughs> <laughs> you need a hand? Yeah.
You've seen the Evil Dead, right? Hello? Are you hurt? Do you exist? Hey, be careful. Hun, maybe it was a possum or something. No, there was there was someone here, I swear. Hey, it's been kind of a night, you know? Let's just get to the motel. We can come back here first thing in the morning. We can check everything out, but... I mean, you must be exhausted. I know I am. I think our imagination... <laughs> Peace and love. See you later, kids. Yeah, Hackett's Quarry forever! <laughs> you know how many hearts are broken on the last day of summer camp? It's like a romance apocalypse. Yeah, well, I mean, they're just kids. You know, they'll get over it. Uh-huh, like they'll get over Emma? What? No, that's not the same thing. Oh, so that's not why you're in a bad mood. I'm not in a bad... Oh. <laughs> You know what? We had our last night together, and we're cool. 
Oh yeah, so cool that you're never gonna see your special little boo-boo bear ever again. Jesus Christ, you heard that? Oh, come on, dude. The cabin walls are made of band-aids and rat turds. <laughs> okay, I get it. <laughs> okay, quit it. Hi, Emma. Hey. <laughs> okay, this is, um... You've heard of spatial awareness before, yeah. right? Spatial awareness is for nerds. Uh, be a lamb and grab the last couple of bags, will ya? Yes, boss. Say hi to Emma for me. You're a bad person. Yes, I am. Ah, fuck! Ah, fuck you, you spider fuck! Ha! <laughs> Eat it. Jake, bags. Focus. According to reports from the local paper, the North Hill, <clears throat> some hay bales caught fire during the opening. Hey, what do you uh what do you listen to? Before they knew it, the whole place was up in smoke. Good to know. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Hi. Hey, are you guys gonna help with the bags or what? Oh, um, you know, I was actually just working on fixing uh, the door. It's Dylan, come it's on. broken. Dylan, please. I can't. It's, it's, I got to get the last bags what's in there. Come wrong on. with this thing? It's just Dylan, closing. please. Close. Sorry, bro. Cool. Thanks, guys. Man. Who'd want to leave a place like this? It's like a goddamn Bob Ross. Skill. <sighs> Ugh. Horror. I hate horror. <sighs> Man, that's a bad place to get stuck. This place needs a serious overhaul. Oh. Jesus. Is that you, Dylan? I can only deal with one shit at a time, Jacob. Okay, really, dude? Locking me out? Okay, in my defense, A, it was Dylan's idea, and... Two, it was really funny. Oh, yeah, right. Is that is that right? I don't write the rules, man. Okay, whatever. Look, are you gonna help me with the bags or what? No, I gotta stay here and wait for Mr. H to return our cell phone. Sorry. Jesus Christ. Okay, and why are the stairs blocked? Well, apparently it's to keep raccoons and other pesky varmints from ransacking the place. Uh, Mr. H's words, not mine. Oh! Boring! All right, got the bags. Great, all by yourself, huh? Yep. Guess you're gonna have to get used to that. Oh my god, you are so mean. <laughs> At least I'm honest. Oh, okay, here we go. Okay, you're not telling me the whole truth about you and Emma, are you, son? Okay, I'm gonna need you to back all the way out of my business, Caitlin. <laughs> well, excuse me for trying to help. How is making me feel shitty about being dumped supposed to help? Aha, the plot thickens. She took out the trash. What? No. I, mm, wait, check that. First, she cleaned the house. Then she took out the trash. Then she washed her hands. Bye-bye, Jake. Now she's a trash of single, clean hands, ready to mingle. Are you, are you finished? <laughs> oh, I could go all day. Yeah, no thanks. Man, you're starting to bum me out, Jake. Well, I... Yeah, you know, I'm sorry. 
Yeah, you're one sorry motherfucker, ain't ya? Okay, well, at least I went for it this summer. Uh, what's that supposed to mean? Uh, Ryan? Uh, what about him? He's a guy at this camp who just happens to have this whole hot, sexy loner thing that totally doesn't do anything for me at all. Oh, and the plot thickens. <sighs> so she really just dumped you just like that? <sighs> well, technically no, but you know, she realized that she has her plans and um, I have my plans and it wasn't gonna work after today, you know, and today's already over, isn't it? And you didn't want to try like long distance or whatever? <laughs> Man, she has got you wrapped all the way around that cute little finger of hers. <laughs> oh, but I mean, seriously, come on, she's right. It's just like a b stupid summer fling. What else did I think was gonna happen? Uh, let's see. Uh, love, stability, engagement, marriage, house, kid, affair, kid, divorce, loneliness, child support, visitation lawsuit, mm. surprise reconciliation, empty nest, retirement, grandkid, 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 a uh, nursing home, and finally, dying in each other's arms and then being buried in each other's arms like those thousand-year-old skeletons they dug up in Rome or something. That kind of in the ballpark? Oh, shit, I'm sorry. That was Ryan and me. Uh, let me see. Ah, here it is. Yours just says Roadhead. Oh, actually, that's just a generic all-men list. Oh, well, that seems legit. <laughs> okay, so are we sure that this old rust bucket's roadworthy? <laughs> we'll take a look. It better be. One more night in the great outdoors might actually kill me. Hey, what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Well, I haven't killed you. Yet. And you're still pretty pathetic. Hey, shut up. <clears throat> uh, okay, so, um, total hypothetical, but if I was like a huge asshole and I wanted to break down the van so we'd have to spend another night here, uh, what exactly would I need to do? Well, you'd probably break the fuel line or, I don't know, rip out the rotor arm. And yes, that would make you a total asshole. Okay, and what does a rotor arm look like again? It's like an arm that's all rotary. You know, it's under the little black dome with the leads poking out. Jake, you do realize that even if we somehow did get stuck out here, one more night with Emma wouldn't make a difference. Trust me, Chick's made up her mind. Yeah. Sure. Guess we'll just have to find out. <sighs> Come on with me, buddy. I'll put you right back tomorrow. No harm, no foul. Up here, my dudes. Why did they look like they're up to something? Hey, Jacob. What? No, dude, please. D d d Go long. Oh, Nick! <clears throat> oh, come on, man. I'm so sorry, Jacob. <sighs> Rough. Hey, maybe uh, you should have put it in airplane mode. <laughs> oh, shit. What's up, man? Shut the fuck up. Oh, yeah, no, no doubt, no doubt. <laughs> God damn, my mom's gonna kill me. Your mom? Oh, yeah, to, uh, to tell her I say hi. <laughs> I'll pay to fix it as soon as we're back, man. Well, it's bricked. Crap. Thank God. Huh. Not a peep. Either got zero signal, everybody's already forgotten I exist. Meh. Nah. You know what, whatever, I can go one more day without a phone. Day? The drive's not that far. You know what I mean. Where's everybody else? Why, why would I know that? Mm -hmm. Sometimes you know stuff I don't. Look, I don't, I don't even know how to respond to that. You say Nick. You're way smarter than me, and you're a super hot stud who gets any chick he wants. Okay, yeah. Keep dreaming, Junior.
Hey there, party bear. Status report? We are officially empty nesters. High five up top. Oh, too slow. Really? Oh boy. You're about to get your phone back, aren't you? Let's go collect our bags and away from this mosquito-infested backwoods dump. Doors locked, bags inside. <sighs> Fuck me. Yep. Well, it's obvious what we have to do here. Find someone with a key? Shape our destiny. And by shape our destiny, I mean shape our way through this crappy lock and grab our bags. Are you serious? That's called breaking and entering. No, that's called retrieving our lawfully owned possessions. Why don't we just find Mr. Hackett and have him open it back up? Abby, come on. Our stuff is like three feet away. Mm, sorry. No. As soon as we get back to the lodge, we'll find Mr. Hackett and have him help us get our bags. Fine. I'm, uh... Okay, well... Well, fine. I'm just gonna do a quick sweep then to make sure we didn't forget anything. Knock yourself out. Hey! You stop <gasps> that! <sighs> it's gonna be weird not waking up to Dylan's morning announcements. is not going to be happy that the kids just like this year. <laughs> I'll tell Chris about it when we see him. I don't think anyone knocked Caitlin out of first place all summer. Ready to roll? Let's do it. Finally! Time to let loose and vamoose this caboose. How are you so... Dramatic? Annoying. Confident. It's just acting. It's what the people want. So you're faking it? I mean, in a way, faking it is just being yourself, but louder. You should try it sometime. You never know who you might impress. No. <laughs> it's too late now anyway. For what? You and Nick? You never know unless you put yourself out there. Uh, oh! Eyes on the road, lady. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, so hypothetically, if I were to put myself out there, what if he ends up being a dud? Kind of like you and Jacob. He's actually really sweet. Then why'd you quit it? Summer fling. We're going to school like four states away. I, he gets it. Yeah, sure. But that's us. You and Nick could be different. When you get his handle, hit him up. Oh, I already have his email. It was in the packet they gave to us on the first day. Email? Are you 93? What's wrong with email? I'm really gonna miss you, Abby. Oh, but the lodge is that way. Go right here. Why? Come on, scenic route? One last victory lap around the camp? We should really get back. Boo. Thumbs down. I've, everyone's waiting for us. Nick isn't gonna leave without saying goodbye. Shit, Abby! Did I hit it? Did I hit it? Oh, Emma. It's still live. That does not look good. What do I do? Put it out of its misery. Uh, I can't. Abby, it's suffering.
No. No, I'm, I'm, I can't. I can't. Would have been cruel not to. Don't worry, Jacob. I got you. I got a full tank of gas, so. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> oh, idiot. <laughs> Does nobody own phone chargers anymore? Hey, there's no signal out here anyways, dude, okay? This place is like patchy as balls. <sighs> Your balls are patchy? What? No. <laughs> it's okay. I'll just go get some juice from Mr. H before we go. And... Uh, you. <sighs> Hey, Nick. Hey, where were you guys? <gasps> Wouldn't you like to know? Ignore her, please. Let's go. Where are your bags? Mr. H locked them in the cabin already. <laughs> Why, to keep out bears? Apparently. Yeah, bears can be bad news, especially if you've been, you know, trying out their variably heated oatmeals. I really don't think there are any bears. I tried to get the bags, but someone was all, wouldn't that make us criminals who deserve to be in jail? You're paraphrasing, but yes, it would. <laughs> mm, I don't think Mr. H would have been too happy to see his cabins vandalized. Thank you. <laughs> hey, has anyone seen Ryan? Oh yeah, he's probably off being all brooding and mysterious and alluring somewhere. <laughs> I'm here. What were you doing under there? Having a little me party? Uh, I was listening to a podcast, actually. Oh, podcast. Nice, that's cool. What's it about? I think it's called How to Mind Your Own Business. You should listen to it. <laughs> Ghosts. Ghosts? Yeah, well, all sorts of cryptozoology, really. The, the episode I was listening to was actually about this place. Oh, yeah, yeah, the one that you were talking about to the uh, kids at the campfire. The Hag of Haggit's Quarry. Yes. What's the Hag of Haggit's Quarry? You don't know about the Hag of Haggit's Quarry? Uh, if I did, would I be asking them ass? D tell her about the Hag of Haggit's Quarry. I don't think she wants to know about the Hag of Haggit's <laughs> oh, Quarry. Can we just please stop saying the Hag of Haggit's Quarry? It's just this campfire story for the kids. It's, um, there's supposedly an old woman who died in a fire a few years back. She haunts the woods looking for her lost baby boy. There are, like, reports of whispers or whatever, and then this figure that floats around, you know, textbook ghost stuff. Some people say that if she catches you alone... She'll try to turn you into her son. Or kill you. Or something. I don't know. It's never really been clear. Anyways, Haga Haggit's Corey. You made that up. It's right here in the podcast, man. Cool story, bro. Oh, yeah? You got a cooler one? Oh, no. I wasn't being sarcastic. Uh, I didn't really tell it right. Look, no, no, no. Seriously, dude. I think it just it came out wrong. You gotta be careful with this stuff, man. This shit's true. Come on, dude, bullshit. What's the holdup, Hacketeers? Yeah, yeah, I'm nearly done, Mr. H. Well, hop to it. Get those butts in gear. Coulda woulda if our bags weren't locked up. What's that? Sounded like you said, of course, Mr. H. We're on it, Mr. H. Sorry, Mr. Hackett, but our, our bags... Right. Cabin. <laughs> We're really busting our butts here. Well, except Ryan, who's trying to scare the pants off our butts with his weird ghost stories. Okay, okay, enough with all the butts. And, and what's this about what, ghost stories? H of H's Q. The Hag of Hackett's Quarry, I was just... Oh, for Pete's sake, Ryan. Hey, you still have the van key, Mr. H? 
Well, yes, I do. You know, I'd lose my head if it wasn't stuck on. Back to the office I go. Give me a hand, would you, Ryan? Oh, okay. Yo, Mr. H. What's up, DJ Dylan? Any chance I could get a little charge? I want to have some uh, tunes for the road. No can do. Come on, that's like super unchill. Hey, dude, man. I'm like the chillest flipping bro in the whole world, man. I just need some tunes for the ride, man. <laughs> all right, that's enough. Five minutes? Like, like five minutes, that's all I need, man. You said no, Dylan. Okay, yeah, I know, but I was just... I'll meet you at the van, okay? So, uh, Chris, I I'm actually glad we got a moment to talk. Uh, uh-oh. I'm not fired, am I? <laughs> no, no, it's, um, it's just, you know, about the whole thing w with the... Hold that thought, partner. I'm gonna have to take this. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, sorry. Hello? What? Because kids are kids. You only do so much, you bro. They're almost out of here, all right? You're cutting it pretty close. We don't want to have... Just hold your damn horses, all right? Everything's A-OK -okay on this end. Bobby and I are geared up. If he's in the area, we'll get him. This is a waste of time. You know what? I know it. No, should I have? He's gone quiet. Probably staying out of the way. Speaking of which, the longer you keep me on this damn phone, the longer it's gonna take me to get rid of these damn kids. Yeah. Of course. Adios. Sorry, I, I wasn't... I wasn't listening. I, I was just, like, waiting. Like I mean, I heard... I, I mean, I, was, I didn't hear what you were... Saying. We're cool, champ. Just... Come on, it's sorry I pushed you out like that. You, uh, you need a hand looking for the keys? Uh, no, end of summer, busy, busy, you know. Anyway, you were asking me? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it was just the whole animation school thing, what you thought I should do. Right. Y you know, listen, whether or not I should, like leave my sister with my grandparents since I'd have to live on campus, you know, and my mom's not exactly around, so I wouldn't want to leave Sarah on her own. You know, fam our family's small enough as it is. Well, family is important, Ryan. Dang it. This is just important to me. You know what's important to me, Ryan? Trying to run a successful summer camp. Still trying to make up for the losses from last year. Uh, Terrified kids are bad for business. Phone calls I get from scandalized parents, nightmares, thumb sucking, bedwetting. Think about that the next time you're flipping some yarn about the, uh, the. The, oh, the Hagger Hackett's. Just think next time, champ. Use the old skull muscle. It was just a fun story that weirdo kid told me last month. Hey, there's no weirdo here. At Hackett's Quarry, everyone's their own brand of cool. You cancelers gotta be the responsible ones. Keep the kids happy. Keep the kids safe. So knock it off. Yeah, of course. I mean, we are. Seriously, Chris, what's going on? I just want to get you guys safely out of Dodge before the sun goes down. Why? It's getting dark, Ryan, and it's not safe to drive in the dark. And safety is the first step towards fun. Just give me a minute. We're in the good guy. 
goddamn are they? Will you say goodbye to Caleb and Kaylee for me? They sort of just snuck off. Well, you'll see him again next year. Caleb works at the scrapyard during the off season, and Kaylee, well, she's still figuring out what she wants to do. She's got her whole life ahead of her. They both just come and go as they please, really. Teenagers, am I right? Actually, could have used the help packing up since we were short-staffed. Hey, you guys seem to manage all right. But I'll tell them both you were sad you missed them. Unlocked the van, put the keys in my pocket, came in the office. Right where I left him. Uh -huh. Let's skedaddle. Make sure they're all ready to go. For real this time. Wait, how did you get your phone back before the rest of us? I never turned it in. You sure to turn it off before you handed it in, Dylan. Them's the rules, you noob. I try not to dwell on the past, man. Good. Because it's time to dwell in the minivan. Get on with our respective lives. Move it. Let's go. Hey, what about our bags? Uh, Emma, I'm going to have to ship them to you tomorrow. Hell no, thing. no. I am not leaving without... It's the way it's got to be. Come on, Jacob. Start her up. What's the problem? Ugh. Dude, I don't know. I, I think there's something wrong with the engine, Mr. H. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, dude, it's just like kaput. All right, let me try. What, Dude, I'm telling you, all right? It's busted. Well, maybe you're doing Go, it wrong. Well, maybe you're doing it wrong. What the fuck, dude? Enough. Enough, both of you. Shit. Come on. All right, Come dude, on. chill. Chill, Let's go. dude. I'm Damn it! I thought I told you kids to check everything. No, we did. It, it should be working. Yeah, well, coulda and shoulda doesn't mean it is, does it? Damn it! Okay. Uh, okay. Well, uh, look, it's not that big of a deal, okay? We'll just spend one more night here. No! No! Just stop. Let me think. Okay. Damn it. You're right. You're right. Yeah. What? Yeah, you're right. Oh. Beep dead. Hey, Brian. Come here for a sec. Make sure that everybody is inside the lodge for tonight. Lock the doors. No one in, no one out. No one. Got it? Okay. I'll be back first thing in the morning. And we'll get you all on the road. You just have to keep everyone inside. Can you promise me you'll do that? Wait, we have to stay inside until tomorrow? Why? Where are you going? Ryan, I need you to trust me. Like I'm trusting you. Can you do that? Lock the doors. And for God's sake, keep the noise down! So... What was that about? He, uh... 
said to stay inside, that we're not leaving until the morning. Are you kidding me? Am. Are you kidding me? What are we supposed to do? Well, we should go inside, like he said. We could go inside until morning. Yeah. Or... Or we could do something else. What are you talking about? No Mr. Hackett, no screaming kids. Just a bunch of grown-ass adults ready to cut loose and get down with their animal side. Oh, hell yeah! P-A-R-T. Why the fuck not? All right, it seems like the stars have aligned for us, no? Okay, okay, okay. One last epic bonfire blowout for all time. Oh, dude. Fuck yes. I'm in, Nick. You're in. Yeah, I'm in. Dylan's in, obviously. My man. Caitlin? I go where my people need me. Yeah, okay. M, what do you say? Mm. <laughs> yeah, I'm in. Mr. Hackett seemed pretty insistent we stay in the lodge. He was just trying to freak us out, you know? Like, um... Like one of Ryan's stupid ghost stories. Why would he want to scare us? I don't think he was trying to freak us out, Jacob. I think he was really freaked out by something. Jesus Christ. Chris seemed real serious about this, guys. Just say you're in, man. Come on, one last night. Yeah, Dude, he won't even know. I, I promised. I no, 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 dude, dude. It's all good, all right? We get it, you know? You, uh, you don't want to disappoint daddy. Yeah, well, someone's got to give a shit. Oh. You know what? <gasps> I don't even care what you guys do. Oh. I'm doing what Chris <laughs> told Boo! me to do. Ryan, come on, man. Wait. All right, all right, all right. Hacketeers. Party planning committee. Let's do this. Um, okay. First things first. Nick and Abby... You go get some firewood. Uh, M and I will go to the stores for some supplies. And uh, Dylan, you just, I don't know, figure out how to charge the phones or something. All right, let's do this. So here we are, stranded, in the great American wild with nothing but our wits to guide us. Will humanity prevail or will we grow ravenous and resort to eating the flesh of the deceased like I saw in that one plane crash movie? <laughs> First course, filet au Jacob. Rich and full-bodied, this rare beefcake may leave an irritating taste lingering on the palate. An acquired taste, some would say. Wow. What? 
looks like you're trying to thread a needle with a packet of loose sausages. Oh my god, I'm almost done, okay? Jesus Christ. And for the record, your analogies are very hurtful. Okay, I'm almost there. One second. Whoa! And scene. Oh, I mean, I could have kicked it. You loosened it for me. Okay. So, if I were a beer, where would I be hiding? Beep, 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 beep. What beep, are you doing? Beep. Oh, <laughs> uh, it's my beer dar. Helps me dar for beers. Huh. How am I just noticing how super lame you are? What? But it, it's my beer dar, dude. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go over here. Wow, the kids really wiped this place out. Mr. H loved his accessories. Hmm. Think it's locked. Don't know what I was expecting. <laughs> oh. Oh, hell yeah! <laughs> oh! Jackpot! Hey, uh... Check out my giant melons. Oh. See, you just cut a hole in it? Mm-hmm. You pour in your vodka. It's party time. You just, you pour the vodka right in it? Yeah. It's the most fun you could have with a hole in a watermelon. Or... Well, second most. Okay, I'm gonna leave you two alone and go look for some more party supplies. Who buys this crap? Hmm. Hello, old friends. Oh, yeah. Can't pass up an opportunity like this. Okay, have y'all ever seen a grown man crap his pants? Because you're about to. <sighs> hmm. Perfecta mundo. Now, where shall I hide? Jacob! Emma? Hello? Look, if you're trying to scare me, it's not gonna work. you man I've never laughed so hard in my life god damn it fucking spiders man you jumped like six feet in the air no I didn't oh, <laughs> god damn it were you fucking recording that Emma god oh Jesus Christ <sighs> fuck man <sighs> wonder where this goes What you, uh, what you done to your foot there? That looks painful. Shut up. Done. Nice. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. The fuck? 
fucking mother lot. Good golly, Miss Molly. No wonder I kept this place locked up. You think he'll be pissed when we made a stash? What? No. I mean, he left us stranded here. It's like, um... <clears throat> human rights, or... Whatever. Sure. Yeah. All right. Now let's see what we are working with. Hold that. The door will latch otherwise. Oh. Hell yeah. In and out. Job done. Boom. I want to look around. Go for it. Oh, cool. What? What is it? A gun. Oh, cool. And a code. Okay. I'm done. So you're, uh, you're really gonna keep the gun, huh? Yeah. For bears. Okay. Uh, well, I am gonna find something to haul this lot back to camp. I'm in. Hey, very nice. <laughs> what else is in there? Uh, just some fireworks. W oh, fireworks? Yeah, but I don't think we should... No, 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 Emma. Fireworks. I feel like fireworks are crossing a line. What? But you got a gun. Why can't I have firecrackers? Because the gun is for bear protection, and the fireworks could start a forest fire. <sighs> Stupid forest fires. <laughs> oh, oh, stop. Stop. Stay right there. <sighs> oh, dude. Peanut butter butter pops. Dude, peanut butter fucking butter pops. Aren't those for kids? What? Yeah, yeah, and I used to be a kid. <laughs> used to be? <sighs> okay, um, look, just try one of these puppies. I promise you, you will change your tone. Not a chance. Pop, pop, peanut butter, butter pops. Pop, pop, pop them in your mouth. <laughs> uh, come on, they're like the greatest snack of all time. All right, whatever. You know what? More for me. Well, <clears throat> I saw a wheelbarrow out front, so we can load up all our booty in there. Uh, I'm sorry, what? Booty? Oh, it means like, um, like treasure or buds. <laughs> no, before that. Wheelbarrow? Uh, yeah. Um, okay. Uh, it's like, um, it's like a barrel with wheels. You can put stuff in it and just wheel it around. Oh. I see. Ladies first. Um, yep. Which way? All right, the inner sanctum. It's just an office. This, this is where the magic happens. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's just make this quick. Sure, just give me a sec to get this going. And engage. Podcasts. Yeah. All right. Let me guess. Right now you're listening to one that has eerie music fade-ins and a mysterious demeanor and a broken syllable raspy voice and a mysterious 
lonely guy in his mom's basement getting hard for Area 51 and Bigfoot? I, I Sorry, not that you're into that stuff. I didn't mean to. Mm, I mean, whatever. I like it anyway. You know, I'd give it a listen. I mean, I don't care either way. No, Ryan, I'm going to do this for you. What is the podcast called? Bizarre yet bona fide. You're trying not to laugh right now because it kind of sounds like boner, aren't you? I don't know what you're talking about. Unbelievable. <laughs> so, should we check out what Mr. H keeps in his private den of sin? Uh, I don't know, man. I feel a little weird going through his stuff. Okay, well, I don't. I mean, come on, what kind of dirty secrets is the owner of a summer camp full of impressionable young children going to have anyway? <laughs> Not Mr. H, I know. He's cool. It's always been cool to me. Whoa, look at this old thing. Hey, give me your number. I want to try it out. Why? Oh, no reason. I just thought it'd be nice for somebody to call you for a change. Ooh, good burn. Thank you. I thought it was pretty good. Hello? What? Who is it? Hello? It's weird. I thought I thought I heard someone. Maybe we should stop touching stuff. Fine. Hey, what's the gun for? Uh, Chris, Mr. H told me it was for, um, bears. Bears? Here? Yeah, yeah, he said they don't really come around because he's got the gun to... Yeah. <laughs> Just leave it alone. Just leave it alone. Dude, what if we're out partying tonight out in the woods and we end up in a sort of most dangerous game situation? Like when people hunt other people? Yeah. Yeah. What? I mean, think about it. It's Camp is over and hunting season has just begun. True. What if, what if, okay, bear with me here. What if what's on the menu tonight is us? Well, then I guess we would need to protect ourselves. Exactly. That's why we need the gun mm. for protection. Yeah, not going to happen. What about for fun? No? Okay. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, totally. Well, we know where the gun is if we need it. Your call, man. Yo, my guy, toss me the keys. Uh, so you can poke around in Chris's private area? I, I'm sorry, is that something that only you're allowed to do? Hardy har har. Come on, what's the harm in looking? It's, you're not a little bit curious. I'm not going to touch anything. Fine. Don't let me regret it. Can't promise that, but. I beefed it. I don't play sports. Huh. Fashion icon. Mr. H knows what he likes. Sure he does. Wow, there's... Yo. Hey, hey, maybe we shouldn't... Uh, Ryan? Whoa, what the fuck? These monitors, this is the camp. Huh. Is Mr. H spying on us? No, no. I mean, no, no, he can't be. These are just, they're all different trails in the woods around camp. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Most of the cameras are pointed away from camp, so it's not like he's spying on the kids, unless they wandered out into the woods. You know, these are just, probably just, Trail cameras. What are trail cameras? People set them up to catch weird, random shit. Okay, yeah, like what? Like uh, Bigfoot sightings, you know, that kind of thing. So, okay, I'm going to upgrade Mr. H from super creepy 
pervert with a spy cam to, you know, super crazy conspiracy hunter. To be fair, Bigfoot's not a conspiracy. Okay, fine. How about an aspiring cryptozoologist? Hey, maybe he likes the podcast that you listen to. Sure, yeah, let's go with that. Okay, but why go through all the trouble of hiding this room through a secret door in the closet? Uh, I mean, it's not exactly secret, right? Like, it's just hidden by stuff. Yeah, that's what a secret is, Ryan. It, it's weird. It's majorly yeah, weird. Yeah, I don't man. disagree with you, but... It, it's It's got to be something juicy in here. Dylan, okay. it's, it's none of our business. And if you really want to know, you can ask him tomorrow. I'm sure that won't be an awkward conversation, like, at all. Okay, yeah, maybe I will. All right. I, I'm leaving this secret layer. Have fun. Hey, you just admitted that it's a secret layer. Okay, these are boring. Nice. Full up. Hey, Dunzo. All right, cool. Let's go. Thank you. This would be a lot easier with Mr. H's chainsaw. It's really very pretty out here when there's no kids around. Yeah, they can get kind of obnoxious, huh? Yeah. They always seem to listen to you during painting class. You've seen my class? Just walking by. <laughs> the art cabin's all the way out of the way. Yeah, well, there's this shortcut that I take that goes by. Which way should we go? Why don't you choose? Good choice. Better sticks this way. Better sticks? Yeah. You're like burning or whatever. <laughs> Think we've got enough? Uh, not yet. So this place was an actual quarry? Uh, yeah. Apparently some of the caves are in pretty deep. It's like a honeycomb under there. Cool. Are you sure this is safe? What, are you scared? No. Are you? No. Shit. It's all right. Calm down. <laughs> so, you ever think about what's next? Like, after we die? It's heavy, man. No, I mean, like, the future. Yeah, sometimes. All the time. It's so overwhelming. I know what you mean. Sometimes I just try to, like, let it happen, you know? What? Huh? Like, whatever happens is what was meant to happen. Like it's all predetermined. Fate. 
I wouldn't call it that exactly. A predetermined future. Maybe the direction stays the same, but the details change. Like, it changes as you go. You're still in control of your own... Fate? Yeah. I don't know. Seems a little defeatist. No, see, this way I can do whatever I want and not feel bad about it. Within reason. Guess that is a little freeing? In a sociopathic kind of way. <laughs> Know where we are? Yeah. Up here. Here, hold these. Sure. This view is just. Do me. Oh, sorry. I'm, I'm just trying to get this down. Right. Sorry. Dumb idea. I just want to finish this. Take your time. Did you hear that? Hmm? It's probably nothing. No, listen. There's something there. <laughs> oh, look! Oh, it's so tiny. <laughs> My god, he's so... Hold on. Hold on. You almost killed me. Guess we should head back. I finally get my phone back and it's just a big dumb brick.
Hey, Caitlin. Guess what? Mr. H is a voyeuristic creep. He has hidden cameras everywhere and a secret room. No, that's not... Uh, whoa, now, back up. What? His eyes are everywhere. He's always watching us. Knock it off, man. He, he's just got trail cameras set up. You know, forest surveillance, that kind of thing. Oh. You don't think that's weird? Well, he's got a perimeter to check, kids to protect. You know, probably just to keep track of wildlife. You guys have no imagination. So, uh, what's going on here? Everything ready? Still no service. Ah, uh, yeah. So, pretty boring. I wonder, maybe a satellite fell out of the sky or something? Yeah, and landed in the forest, waking from her slumber, the hag uh, hacking. Okay. You know, I just realized we may never see each other again after tonight. You can't have just realized that. Just trying to set the mood. What mood? The mood, the vibe, you know. Speaking of setting the mood, I have work to do. Okay, because playlists don't make themselves. I mean, I guess they do, but... All right, right guy. Time to get wood. Yikes. Wording. Oh, I know what I said. Abby, Nick, just in time. We got wood. <laughs> We've already done that joke. It's mostly just kindling. Oh, that's all we need. There's already a big pile of logs here. We could have gotten more, but there was a hog or a boar. But Nick was very, very brave and took one for the team. Oh my gosh, it can't be. The hog of Hackett's quarry? What? I thought you hated that phrase. <laughs> big jokes take big sacrifices. You're so brave. Oh, I just want to shrink you down to little pocket people and put you in my pocket and peep it to when I need a little pick-me-up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Special delivery! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Where the hell did that gun come dude, from? Dude, relax, okay? It's not even real. Uh... Well, I mean, it's a real gun, but it's just for shooting bears. We found it in the storage room. Okay, fine. Fine, we'll put it down. Thank you. Guns are no joke, dipshit. And, and... We bring you a hand-picked selection of only the finest that Hackett's Quarry has to offer. No freaking way. Yes, freaking way. Pop, pop, peanut butter, butter pops. Pop, pop, pop them in your mouth. Pop! I didn't even know you could still find these anywhere. Oh, hey, hey, cool your jets there, cowboy. All right, these are spoken for. Dude, you can't just shove those in my face and not expect me to want to pop, pop, pop them in my mouth. Come on. Emma, please hand me the shotgun. What, you're gonna shoot me over them? No, dumbass. Okay, we are going to shoot for them. Nah, dude. Absolutely not. No. Okay, there is no way I'm leaving you dillweeds alone with a gun. Come on, look, the shooting range is like right over there, okay? It'll be fun. Okay, look, you and me, old fashioned shootout. First prize, peanut butter butter pops, all to yourself. Dude. I guess you don't really want them then, huh? Fine, you're on. Yeah, boy! Jacob, hand me that gun now. I mean, nobody's handling any firearms if you're gonna act like a dick about okay, it. Okay, then you can be the ref. We need an objective third party. Okay, we're trying to get a party started here, Jacob. Okay, well, the main party's not gonna die just because you're off on a little side quest. Come on. Please. All right. Guess we're gonna have ourselves an old-fashioned shootout. Yeah. Look, there's a clearing we can use as a shooting range back there, but if I see either of you dicking around, I am turning this car around. Oh, uh. we'll be good. Okay, so, just so you know, I was an expert marksman, <clears throat> third class, three years in a row, ranked highest in camp each year. I'm just letting you know that your goose is cooked, Nick, but if you back down now, I might let you just have one little peanut butter butter pop if you're lucky. No way. You've never even seen me shoot. Yeah, that's because you've never shot before. Yeah, not that you know of. <laughs> okay, I think I would know if okay, you'd actually... Okay, boys, I'm gonna have to stop you right there. As much as I'm enjoying your charming machismo, the moment we step foot on the shooting range, 
We're playing by my rules, okay? And what I say goes. Got it? Okay, good. Now I'm gonna go set up some targets and get more shells. Do not move a muscle or touch his gun until I'm back. All right, so is it just me? Is it kind of hot when she gets all bossy like that? I'm always hot, pencil Yeah, deck. okay, thank you. Bye, bye. So, um, how was your little one-on-one -on -one with Abby in the woods? Fun. How was your little one-on-one -on -one with Emma? Oh, dude, it's incredible. She's totally still into me. Really? Yeah. Just got to figure out this whole long-distance thing. Is that what she wants? I want to know what she wants. Well, I mean, you could ask her. <laughs> I could ask. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, speaking of, let me show you how a real man shoots his gun. Are you guys seriously still thumping your chest at each other? No, I think he's got brain damage. <laughs> okay, please, just give me the gun. Uh-uh. You'll have it when I say you'll have it. All right, huddle up, boys. This is how we're going to do this. You're shooting the one on the left. Nick first, then Jacob's turn. Keep your fingers off the trigger till you're ready to shoot. You got it? Aye, aye. All right. Two things. Remember the spread. Remember the recoil. This is a shotgun. We're not sharpshooting here. The flashlight shows you where you're aiming. Obvs. <laughs> Unlucky, dude. Okay, we're too far back to do any real damage. Let's scooch forward a little and uh, fuck these guys up. Thank you, good. All right, Nick. This time for real. <laughs> oh, man. I guess you don't want those butter pops after all. Huh. It's okay, dude. It's not like it's an obvious metaphor for your sexual competence or anything. It is. <sighs> all right. You might want to, uh, avert your eyes, Nick. I don't want to give you any more performance anxiety. Uh, all right, all right. Just shut up and shoot, Jacob. I thought you were an ultra elite pro marksman. Yeah, with like a rifle. Whoa, okay, dude, not with this freaking cannon dude, blaster. That is how you get someone shot. God. Nah, it's okay. You probably would have missed me anyway. Hey. Okay, disqualified for being a dumbass. What? No. Ooh, what's that, Jakey? Huh? Huh? Pop, pop. Peanut butter, butter. Pops. Okay, I get it. I get it. Blam. You thought this was over? What the? Whoa. Pop, pop, peanut butter, butter pops. Okay. New idea. Party game. Uh, Come on, people. We might never see each other after tonight. Let's make some memories. Well, what do you have in mind? How about the ultimate game of secrets and lies, truth or dare, but Dylan style? Mm. Okay, house rules are someone asks you truth or dare, then you choose, and then you do. And there's no ifs, ands, or buts. So, like, normal truth or dare? Yes. So we can, like, make people kiss? If they choose dare, yeah. As long as everyone consents, of course. Cool beans. I mean, keep it in your pants until it's your turn, but... 
<laughs> well, who does get to go first? Well, it's house deals, so... Abigail. Truth or dare? Um... Truth. You really dodged a bullet, huh? All right, here goes. Have you ever slept with anyone? Oh, I, um, I... Have you ever slept with anyone at this camp? <laughs> no. Nope. Sorry. All right, Abby, it's your turn. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um. Oh, Abby. Oh my God. God. Just pick someone. Okay. Okay. Um. Oh, I don't know. Ugh. Oh, ding, ding, ding. Too late. My turn. Ryan. Truth or dare? Truth. I'm an open book. Okay. Okay. Let's get right down to it. Let's do. You and Mr. Hackett. Here we go. What were you doing in his office? Well, I know what you're fishing for, but it's actually super boring. If you must know, I needed some life advice. Advice, huh? Oh, whoa, whoa, M. Um, okay, I got this. Okay, so uh, if you go to settings, there's an option called incognito mode. And if you press that, no life advice about school. And that's no fair. I've, I've already answered my question. Maybe we can help. Uh, I don't know. You've all got your own shit going on. Besides, I figured just the mention of the word school would cause Jacob to hemorrhage or something. Whoa. Dude, what the hell did I do? All righty. Who shall I pick? Well, uh, me and Jacob haven't gotten a turn yet. Good point. All right, Jacob, let's see what you're made of. Oh, there, there, man, come on. Okay. I dare you to take a flying leap over that fire pit. <laughs> Naked. Oh, dude! Fuck yes! Oh, I will jump over this thing, I don't care. Yeah, I don't think that's a good idea. No, no. Jacob, wait. Don't do it. Stop. Dude, I say veto. You're gonna fuck yourself up. What? No, come on, man. I got this. Brian, come on. Fine, veto. You know what? Fuck this game. All right? <clears throat> Someone else can go. Okay, fine. Then I call your turn. <clears throat> Whatever. Emma. There. Emma, so you have to kiss... Jacob? Or... Oh. Nick? Uh. <laughs> well then... Um... Uh, sorry, Nick. This is not uh, even there, obviously. I don't know if that's a good this. idea. I choose Nick. M? Seriously? Guys. Guys! Thank you, Nick. He's good. You like kissing my girlfriend, asshole? It was just a game. Hey, I'm nobody's <laughs> girlfriend. The fuck it was. It was just a game. Yeah, the fuck it was, man. Jacob, grow up. Well, I guess I should probably go after him. You should probably go find Abby.
So, anybody want to play Parcheesi? What? Stupid game. What are we in middle school? Why should I even care? Anyway, I can kiss anybody. Stupid. St stupid. Oh, great. Where the hell am I? Uh oh. Me alone. Whoa, it's just me. <sighs> Sorry. Hey, um, hi. You, uh, you ran off. Sorry, the smoke, you know, from the fire. I just needed some air. Yeah, I know what you mean. That smoke can get pretty intense, huh? Mm -hmm. You didn't have to run away, though. Guess Emma's had a thing for you all along, huh? What? No, 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 no way. She was just trying to make Jacob jealous. I was just playing along. You seem to enjoy playing along. I enjoyed helping Emma make Jacob jealous. That's about it. I don't think Emma was the mastermind here. <laughs> then who? Well, Caitlin. All of them, I guess, but... Mostly Caitlin. She's sneaky. Huh. Truth or dare's a stupid game, right? I don't know. Maybe it lets us act how we really feel. Uh, or it lets us act as props to help Jacob and Emma hash out whatever bullshit they've got going on. So... Then do you have feelings for her? No. I mean, I just meant the whole thing's dumb. That's all. You remember the second or third day of camp when we were assigned to take our cabins down to the island ropes course together? Yeah, that was when we met. Mm hmm. Uh, do you remember that camper? That, uh, a little accident on the course? <laughs> He was so embarrassed. I thought his life was over. I had to take him to get cleaned up before anyone noticed. Well, except you, I guess. Thanks for not telling anyone. That wasn't actually the first time we met. We met at orientation on the first day. We did? Yeah, there was like 
a million people. <laughs> um, but honestly, you kind of seem like a dick. I said hi, and you barely acknowledged me. Shit. I'm sorry. I've seen most counselors make fun of their campers. Tease them a little. Jacob does it. Emma kind of does it, too. But you don't. I've had my moments. I'm not proud of some of the stuff I've done. That'll be Jacob's influence. Yeah, I tend to just fall in line when he's around. You're not Jacob. Don't try to be Jacob. Who wants to be Jacob? Girls are into Jacob. Not the cool ones. Who are the cool ones into then? Guys who are cool enough to help a camper out of a sticky situation. That makes me feel a little better. <laughs> you know that kid I helped ended up going home? Oh. No, I didn't know that. The campus wouldn't stop making fun of him for pouring orange juice into a cereal. Uh, yeah. Ew. <laughs> you win some, you lose some. <laughs>
Technique needs work. Hey. Uh, yeah. Yes, you found that. Of course. <sighs> Sneaking down here was a little more fun when we thought we could get caught, huh? Yeah, I, uh, I guess. Jacob, I thought we agreed that this, us, was just supposed to be some summer fun. Yeah, no, no. I know, I just... You just love having an audience, huh? Oh, Jacob. I mean, you I can't believe you, like, you fucking Frenched him! You know, in front of everyone. Jesus wept. French, are we 12? No, but Nick is. Kind of. <laughs> you know, I love the guy, but I don't think he's actually ever seen a girl naked before. Well, I hate to break it to you, but he just had his tongue down my throat, and he definitely knew what to do with it. <laughs> you, you really love fucking with me, huh? Lighten up, Sarapus, please. This is not how the night was supposed to go. What? You know what? Nothing. No. Nothing. Never mind. Fine. You can stand here, sulking. Driving yourself crazy imagining Nick's tongue in my mouth. Ah! Oh, or... You can go grab us some towels. What do you need towels for? Well, we agreed. Some are fun, right? Apparently, summer is not quite over. Okay. Looks like somebody didn't put their oars away. She's still wet. Hmm. What are these numbers? Exactly zero. You dick. What the hell? Just get back down here, Jacob. <sighs> okay, well, I guess we could just like drip dry or you, know, you could shake it out doggy style. Wow, you really know how to talk to a girl, don't you? <laughs> Look, you can't just pretend that it didn't happen. <gasps> oh, but I can because you see, oh, help! Help, I'm, I'm drowning and I, I need a big, strong, not at all insecure man to come save me. <laughs> yeah, well, why don't you ask Nick? Okay, I'm sure he'd love to rescue you. I'm ignoring you. Hell, man. Oh, okay. Okay, now you're gonna get it. See? <laughs> <laughs> hey, switch. Oh, stop being a uh, rock.
Dick move. Look, I don't want this to end. <laughs> I'd be happy to stay out here all summer, but I think we'd get a little pruny. Oh, you know what I mean, like... I mean this. Jacob, I had a great summer with you. Well, it doesn't just have to be this summer. <laughs> Jacob. Okay, oh, look, how about this? Um, <clears throat> if I can do a backflip off of here, you let me come visit you, okay? How about that? Right. Hey! Where are you going? Come on! That was some mighty fine social disruption there, Kaylin, I have to say. Ah, or was it just the nudge that Abby needed? You're an evil genius. Who do you think is gonna make the first move? Nick or Abby? Ooh, good cue. My bet's on neither. I don't know, Nick's got the beast in him. Huh, if by beast you mean some sort of mild-mannered baby deer. Hey, don't let the cute preppy aesthetic fool you. It's like a steel barbecue grill under that shirt. <laughs> so, you noticed that too, huh? So, what do you guys want to do now? We can keep playing. Yeah? Just the three of us? Alright, Dylan. Truth or... Uh, I sound like Abby. Oh my gosh. Uh, we gotta help her. Uh, <laughs> Wait, where did it come from? This way. Come on. Abby! Help! Please! Nick! Help him! Hey! What happened? Abby, what happened? Brian! We gotta know what... Well, she needs help. Give her a second. Go after Nick! Go! Maybe... Maybe you should go. Look, I gotta help Abby! Go! He might be hurt, too! That shotgun's got a hell of a spread. Be careful! Okay, okay. All right.
What? What happened to you? I gotta, I gotta get, get. Can you walk? Uh, can. Come on, we gotta go. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Come on, let's get back to the fire. Uh, Naked girl waiting for you back there, Jacob. What are you doing? Who the fuck are you? Fuck you, you fucking asshole! Oh, Jesus Christ, what the fuck are you doing? Close your eyes. Oh, oh. What are you doing? Shh. Stop. Help. Shh. Help. Tastes bad, don't it? It's for your own good. Where are you off to now, girly? It was, 
It was, I, I, I don't even know what it was. It was so fast, and, and there, was a, uh, there was a hunter, and it was just... Oh, Abby. Here. What? Oh, try drawing. Drawing what? Well, uh, can you draw what attacked you? Nick, hey, buddy, can you tell us what happened? I'm a little attacked. Where's Abby? He's super out of it, man. We need to know what happened. All right. There was... There was a guy there, but... There was some kind of... Some kind of animal... The hell? What fucking kind of animal does this? Jack, Jack, is Abby? Yeah, hey, she, hey, she's okay, dude. She's right over there. Because teeth were on top of me, I think it was a bear. Full-size bear would have crushed him. There's no way. I thought we don't get bears around here. No. Uh, oh fuck! Look at that. Oh fuck. shit! That black stuff. That's that's infection. That's and it's it, it's spreading. This is bad. This is really bad, dude. We should amputate. We should cut it off before the infection spreads. You're literally an idiot. Hey, I'm just trying to help. He just needs a doctor. Proper medical attention. And a shrink, too, probably. I can't remember much. I mean, I don't even know what I saw. Holy shit. It's not. Be careful. Well, if you were aiming for a cluster of threatening branches, you sure showed them what's what. I just wanted to make sure nothing was coming after us. Well, you certainly made sure to waste some ammo. Look, you can't hit shit with those shells unless yeah. you're right up in well, the grill. Maybe I just wanted to scare them off. So what, we're thinking it was just the wind or something? Cause still a little freaked out, you know? Yeah, the wind. Let's go with that. Great, going with it. All right, so uh, Lodge is sounding pretty good right about now, yeah? You were saying... Shall we look? Are you stupid? Let's get out of here. Oh, but what about Jacob and Emma? What if they come back and can't find us? Fuck those guys. Pretty sure they're off having the time of their life. Right now we gotta make sure Nick and Abby are okay. <laughs> Nick's legs all sorts of fucked up. I don't know how we're gonna get him all the way back. I got it. All right, let's go.
Okay, let's see what tonight brings. Okay, here's a riddle for you. What's got two thumbs and is suddenly riding solo on a freaky island in the dark? This fool, well, one thumb, one available thumb. Okay. And it was here on a strange, uninhabited island that this brave young soul found herself. Okay, full disclosure, I've suddenly found myself on a, a strange, tiny little island all alone with nothing to do but show you guys around. So, there's a tree house over there. I'm gonna go and see if I can't, can't dish out some of that sweet, sweet panoramic goodness. Because here's the thing, not that I want to go back because I don't, but even if I did, I can't because then I'd look like the super needy one when he was the one who, who stormed off in the first place. God, you know what? Sorry, I'm venting. Well, explore venting. You know what? Fuck it. Let's do it. To the tree house, fellow explorers. <laughs> so this island is like an unexcavated part of the quarry that rewilded itself after it flooded into the lake. Pretty cool, huh? You know, when I was little, I used to think that islands just kind of would float in the middle of the water, kind of like an airbed. But I'm older and wiser now and realize that not everything's always as it seems. Kind of like how you thought you were just having a hot summer fling and then it turns into babysitting a big hairy man child who's all sad because you don't want to go steady with him and write him love letters every freaking day. And while we're talking about it, you don't mind that we're talking about it, right? Why, why is it up to me to justify my feelings when he's the one who got all blah about it, you know? <sighs> oh, look. A metaphor in the narrative by mean of fork in the road. How fitting. Here's the big question. Do I take the high road, literally, and forget about it? Or do I continue on the path I'm on and keep ranting about my stupid dumb life. I guess since this isn't live, the choice is up to me. Okay, moving up in the world. Let's do this. Now you might notice the darling rustic vibes this walkway is radiating, and that's no accident. I don't know what y'all are doing with your walkways, but if you're not spending a full hour pulling a splinter out of a snotty kid's finger, don't you dare call it authentic. Don't worry, the kid was fine. I'm a good counselor. And what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. This is where we're heading. Not too shabby. Well, literally is too shabby, but these views, oh man, you're gonna blow your tops. There's also a zip line, which eh, I guess you can watch me crap my pants on that thing. What the hell? I'm here, aren't I? I'm gonna carpe this DM so damn hard it won't know what hit it. First, we gotta get there. And there's still so much to talk about. You know what Jacob's real problem is? He thinks he's starring in his own movie. He sees everything like it's happening to him. She says, recording her own reality show. Ugh, whatever. He wants to be with me because he thinks it'll make him happy, when I don't think he's even ever thought about what I want. Okay, that's not true. Honestly, I think I'm deflecting. I know he'll meet someone at college and forget all about me. Good for him. He deserves it. Maybe I should start going all freaky clingy and stuff. Maybe that'll scare him off. Like, like show up at his house in a, in a wedding dress or something like that. Loki actually considering it. But hey, here I go again, trying to turn everything I do into some sort of dramatic experiment. And here we are. As promised, one extremely rickety and even more underwhelming treehouse. In another world, perhaps young Jacob and I would settle down here and play house together. Honey, I'm home. What's that now? I forgot the children's bedtime. Well now, that's a fine how do you do. Take it all in, folks. That's the summer camp experience right there, and oh look, it seems somebody forgot to clear the place out. I guess one of the kids left their stuff, or maybe one of the guys back there? 
but I don't recognize this. Did you hear that? Looks like we have a choice on our hands. Do we snoop through someone else's belongings? Or do we open the spooky trap door and die a horrible, painful death? There are literally no right answers. <sighs> Goodbye, cruel world. The final curtain is calling and there's no time for an encore. Easy. I got it. He's okay. Are you in pain? No, no, sorry. I'm just... I'm really hungry. We'll get you some food inside, okay? Yeah, yeah. Come on, come on. Oh, man. I can eat a horse. <laughs> well, I don't know if we'll be able to find you a horse, but maybe some granola? Oh, yuck, I hate granola. This will open the nurse's station. Should be plenty of stuff in there. Well, hopefully we can just get him cleaned up for now. I'll get you something to eat. You and I are gonna find a landline. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, isn't there one in Mr. H's office? Yup. We'll come meet you. Copy that. Do you think that whatever attacked them out there is... I don't know has their scent or something. What? I don't know, like, what if it got a taste for blood and now it's gonna track them down? I, I doubt it. I just feel like if we stick with them, we're sitting ducks, I don't know. I really don't think that whatever attacked them out in the woods is gonna get into the lodge. Okay, yeah. Yeah, you're, you're probably right. <sighs> Come on, let's go call for backup. It's pretty weird to see this place so dead. You never came down here at night while camp was in session? What? No, did you? A couple times, yeah. Damn. Where are you going? I... I, I, I thought I just heard my name. I didn't hear anything. I don't think Nick's injuries are as bad as we thought. We don't know that. No, it's true. Caitlin said. So all I'm saying is that we are not professionals, okay? We don't know. We, he could have rabies or something. Way to be optimistic, man. I'm just being realistic. We gotta call for help. Who should I call? Uh, Mr. H? The only number I got is to this phone. Okay, then 911. You mean 911? Who says 911? I don't know. I... Anyway, yeah, but like, what should I ask for? Like, police? Ambulance? Huh. Well, do you need to specifically ask for an ambulance, or can you just say, like, help, help. So they'll say, 911, what's your emergency? And I'll say, help, help. My friend may have been attacked by a bear, or maybe not a bear, but definitely an animal with teeth. And we're not sure how many there are out there right now, uh, and or how smart they are. So they may be mounting an attack on us right now. So just, like, send a whole bunch of ambulances just to be sure. 
Yeah, yeah, that's that's good. Okay. What's wrong? Dead. Well, that's weird. Phones go dead sometimes out here. Right when you're about to call the cops, though? It's a coincidence. Did you try the hang-up thingy? What? Here. What are you doing? I don't know. It's what they do in movies when the phone goes dead. You tap on the little thingy. We're not in a movie. Okay, well, you know... How do you know that? Maybe that's just what they want you to think, man. Okay, so this phone's a no-go. No one has signal. Is there anywhere else in the camp that has a landline? Well, not a landline. What? The radio hut has some old broadcast gear. Where, where you do your announcements? Where I curate my sweet summer jams, yeah, and where I do the PA announcements. It has some old equipment there. I think we could probably break something up and get a message out. All right, yeah. Let's, let's head over there and see if we can contact somebody. Put that back, Dylan. You gotta be fucking crazy if you think I'm gonna go out there without something to defend myself. It's more of a safety concern. Oh, do you think I'm gonna shoot my eye out? Or your whole head. Don't be a dick, man. I know how to use this. Okay. Uh, it's, it's probably the weather. What weather, Ryan? Maybe, maybe it was the bears. Bear. And why does everyone blame everything on bears? Okay, so for the sake of argument, what if that bear that, uh, cut our phone line and just cut out all the power. What if that bear is waiting for us out in the hallway? Fair point. Thank you. We should probably tell Caitlin that we're going to the radio hut. They're probably freaks. Yeah, okay, yeah, let's go. Oh my God. Yeah, we should probably leave that with Caitlin. Do you think she really needs it, though? Uh, she needs it just as much as we do. If she's staying in the lodge, we're going out there. You literally just said there might be something dangerous in the lodge. When? Like 20 seconds ago. Okay, sure, but that's because I really wanted the gun. Just give her the gun, man. No, fuck that. I'm keeping it. Dude, if those hunter guys come back, she's basically a sitting duck in here. You're being really selfish right now. It's not a good look on you. No, I'm just being safe. I can't believe you're being such an asshole right now. Look, you don't tell me what to do, man, okay? <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's it's not gonna happen. What are we even what are we even talking about? Just give her the gun. We don't need it. We already have a gun. Fuck. Dude, why don't you just give her your gun? I can't believe you're being such an asshole. Right back at you, Buster. Seriously? Is this worth fighting for? No, not with your argument. Oh, okay, so now you just want to win the fight. Not cool, man. Not cool. Am I interrupting something? Chin up, big guy. It, I wouldn't really know what to do with it, okay? I trust you. Oh, thank you so much, Dylan. You're so generous and handsome. Yeah, no problem. Don't mention it.
Hey, I couldn't find anything to eat. The kitchen's pretty cleaned out. Oh shoot, I left my bag. I, I brought you this. That was... Fuck, I don't even know what happened. It was all just a blur. How are you feeling? You ran away. What? It jumped on me, and you ran away. You just left me there. Nick, I, 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 I didn't know what to do. I mean, I thought... Well, you'd rather I, just save yourself, huh? I, no, no. I, uh... All right, they're off to find a radio or something. What's with the, um... Uh, oh, uh, we found another in Mr. H's office, so just in case. And what happened to the lights? Not sure. Any better? I'm doing okay. Kinda. Wait, are they going to the radio hut? <sighs> Phone's dead. They're gonna try to send out an SOS or something. We're holding down the fort. You said Dylan and Ryan already left. Wait, stay here. I'll check it out. We don't know what's out there. It could be dangerous. Yeah, that's why I'm gonna check it out. Hey, so this may not be like the best time per se, but like... What? Yeah, so like I was just, you know, thinking about like the start of summer and when we first met and started camp and well, like now that summer's over and, you know, is that like the last time we're gonna see each other, you know? I'm sorry, Nick, what, what are you saying? Hey, I'm kind of pouring my heart out here. Nick, I'm, I'm sorry. Can we talk about this later? I'm, I'm really freaked out and it's just not a good time. You're hard to read. Wait, what? You're not even listening, are you? No, no, I'm... I'm well, yeah. I didn't think I was that boring. Gosh, you're hurt. I just want to make sure we're safe, okay? What's going on out there, Caitlin? We've died. We've died. It's okay. I got this. Oh 
Oh my god. What happened? Jesus, where's the gun? We gotta get out. No, we have to hide. So the Radio Hut has like an actual radio? I thought it was just like for your morning announcements. Oh yeah, yeah, it used to be more of a actual radio station actually. Um, uh, you know, I mean, it is still technically, but nobody brings their radio to camp anymore. Yeah. It's weird actually that there used to be kids with their radio and their portable CD player and everything. And you know, nowadays, Everything we need is on the phone, but Mr. Hackett takes it on the first day at camp so that we're not distracted by technology. Um, technology, it giveth and it taketh. Oh, what in the name of voodoo doo doo is this? All good? All good? Oh, this place is kind of a dump, huh? Okay, when I was a camper here, it was barely working. It hadn't been used for years, and it took me a really long time, actually, to get this place cleaned up and looking the way it is. So, I'm sorry if it's not up to your standards, but I've been putting in a lot of TLC, okay? Okay. okay. Let me get this set up. All right. Anything over here we can use? The power tools? No. Um, that's... Mr. H wanted more storage, so it's kind of how he lets me keep the station going. <laughs> gotcha. So, uh, how far does it go? Oh, um, well, it was designed just to broadcast to the PAs around camp for announcements and to, you know, portable radios and whatever, so I think the range is about a mile. That doesn't seem like it's gonna help us much. <laughs> Don't underestimate the power of technology. Uh, is technology the right word? No, yeah, you're right. This is more like magic, man. Oh, so you would be the magician? In a manner of speaking, sure. Anyways, this thing's gonna need a bit of a power up, um, but that's where this comes in. Dust magnet. It's supposed to be a signal booster. It's kind of janky looking, but it's worth giving a shot. So we can actually talk to people with this thing? Yeah, well, it's not a two-way radio. So, um, you know, we can talk, uh, but then the best we can do is switch it over to the receiver and see if anyone broadcasts anything back, which is unlikely, but... Well, it, I mean, it is what it is, I guess. Yeah. So, what should I say? Uh, just, like, make it sound urgent. 
Okay. Hello, how's it going out there? This is, uh, uh, we need help. This is, uh, we are counselors at Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp and there's been a horrible accident attack, some stuff bad here. We need your help. Uh, there is a swarm of bears and they are everywhere. And there's these hunters too, and they seem to be shooting at the bears, but also at us, um, which is not good. And a few of our friends are hurt and um, we are in desperate need of help. So please, I mean, there's vicious bears and uh, we don't know what to do, so please, uh, come help us, SOS. Uh, this is uh, an emergency. S save our ship. Come on down, please help us. Yeah, I do good. Was that swarm of bears? Yeah. Herd of bears. Yeah, I've heard of bears. What? Oh my god. All right. I, I guess I should just like switch this over to the receiver and see if we get anything yeah, back. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna keep an eye out while you do all this techie stuff. Okay, yeah, sure. Check it. Wait, did he did he say lodge? I don't know, huh? Two males in the radio shack near the cabins. Another couple unaccounted for. Copy that. Um out. Holy shit, they're talking about us. Fuck, 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 what the fuck, man? How? Because we just told them! On the fucking radio! Fuck! They know where we are, man. We can't stay here. Shit. Shit. Fuck. Hey, hey, Shit. Let's, let, let's stay calm, okay? Um, let's, let's go find Caitlin and everybody, okay? Okay, yeah. I didn't know what I saw. You saw something and you didn't think that you should fucking tell me? I forgot. I mean, the, I, the guys came on the radio. <gasps> uh, Ryan? Is it a bear? can jump like that. What is that, Brian? Fuck. What? Caitlin, Abby, and Nick, they're coming up the path. Oh, shit. They're coming toward us. We, we, we gotta warn them. Um, what about the PA? Up top? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, we can um, tell them to hide or something. Yeah. Uh... Oh, fuck, no. Oh, shit. Uh, the... uh, hold the button. Uh, Caitlin, get into a building now. Do not come up here. There's an animal outside the radio hut. Get, in, uh, get into a cabin now. Go! Oh, fuck, dude. They're gone. Uh... Well, we gotta... Do something, come on. We gotta kill it. That's not a normal animal, man. I don't think a gun's gonna cut it. 
Shit. You got a better idea? Well, if it's got hearing like a like a dog, maybe uh, I mean we could we could play a really high pitched feedback loop and crank it to the max and uh, I mean it would hurt like hell, but Okay, fine. Let's do it. Feedback thing. All right. Come on, hurry, let's go! Everything is right. I did everything right. Oh shit, it, it's attacking the cabins. Oh crap, it knocked out the wire. Okay, uh, uh, fix it, I'll cover you. Is it safe? I don't know. That thing's gone, but we heard those hunter guys on the radio. What? Picked up their walkie signal. They knew we were here. Fuck, you get a message out? I'm not sure anyone heard it. <sighs> Great. What the hell was going on up there? It just attacked us. Holy shrimp, you should have seen it. Dylan made some sort of crazy feedback loop and it scared it off. Ah, it was nothing. A feedback loop? Well, you know, I figured if it's like most animals, then it would have sensitive hearing, so... Caitlin, where's your gun? I lost it. One of the friendly locals wanted to say hi. What the fuck? Did she shoot at us? Who's there? Who was she? Should we follow her? Ah, <sighs> oh, shit, Dylan, what is that?
is she like one of those hunter dudes? I don't think so. Should we do something? What can we do? She's dead. I mean, with the body. That's Kaylee Hackett. Mr. H's daughter? I thought she went home with her brother. Kaylee. Yeah. I thought so too. Oh man. Poor Kaylee. Nick. You smell so good. You all right there, bud? Maybe dial it back a bit, huh? Fuck off, Caitlin. Whoa. Nick, what are you? I want to taste you. Hey. Come here, huh? Ugh, Nick, what the hell? Ugh, get off. Ugh, watch out. I said get off. Let's get him in the pool house. Dry him off. <laughs> Abby? Just, just try to rest. I'm sorry. We need to be keeping a record of everything that happens. For the police. Yeah. Dead girl in the pool needs some explaining, huh? <sighs> Easy, man. Maybe like photos, whatever we can. Yeah, I've got a funny feeling that the cops are not gonna want to believe any of this crazy shit unless we've got some hard proof. From now on, if you got your phone and you see something, take a photo or a video or whatever. Yeah. You okay over there, Abby? Look, why don't you look around and see if you can find anything to help make Nick more comfortable? Here, that better? Thanks. Hey. Yo, something is not right with that boy. Dude is real sick. Did you see how he freaked out in the water? Yeah, he was like, uh, he was like a fish out of water. Right? Uh, sure. You know, something was weird when I tried to clean his wounds, too, at the lodge. What do you mean? Well, all of his clothes were bloody, but I couldn't find where he was bit or scratched or whatever. He just kept moving around, like he didn't want me to see how badly he was hurt. Huh. Mm, rabies? He's not frothing in the mouth. <sighs> I think Abby would beg to differ. Point. Yeah, isn't aquaphobia a symptom of rabies? Hydrophobia, yeah. But I think it's more about a fear of drinking, not just getting wet. This was like... Like my cat in the bathtub. <laughs> yeah. Abby? Yeah? Can I ask you something? Of course. Do you like me? I don't know what's going on with you right now, but I like the old Nick better. I knew it. I knew it. You don't like me at all, do you? That's not what I said. Why won't you tell me the truth? I am telling you the truth. 
I only ever hung out with you because you seem so desperate. Poor, pathetic little Abby, ready to throw herself at the first guy that came along. Easy pickings. Right off the bone. This isn't you. I mean, this, this isn't you. I... <gasps> Abby, everything okay? Holy shit. We, we just gotta focus. We, we can still get out of this alive, together, okay? Well, not all of us. Yeah, no shit. Dumbass. <sighs> hey! Oh, shit. Where the fuck is Chris Hackett? Go... Go away! I'm a friend. Let me in. You killed Kaylee! Who? Look, I can help you. Just let me in. My name is Laura Kearney. So? So let me in. It's not safe out here. Uh, yeah, there's a crazy woman with a gun killing people. I'm not killing people. Holy shit, you... Laura Kearney? You're Laura Kearney? Yes? You were supposed to be working, uh, helping out in the nurse's office, right? And you never showed up? Uh, you and the guy, what's his name? Max? Yes, Max. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Mr. Hackett said that you had changed your mind last minute. I, I think that we should, I think that we should listen to her inside. I don't know. I don't trust her. Dude, it's dangerous out there. Yeah, she's dangerous. Whatever, man. You're not in charge. Dude, fuck, Hello. Dylan. So, uh, why didn't you come? Where have you been for the past two months? We did come. One night early. That was our mistake.
Kid. <clears throat> What have you done to Max? Shut up. You can't just- Shut up! This is an interrogation. I ask, you answer. <clears throat> Name. Eat shit. When I say name, you give me your name. Do I make myself clear? You've got my license, can't you read? I am an officer of the law. I need you to do as you're told and answer the goddamned questions. I don't care what you are. You can't hold us like this. This isn't legal. I want a lawyer. Stop! You need to shut your mouth and listen to me or there is going to be a problem. Do we have a problem? Guess that sheriff's badge doesn't mean a whole lot if you don't believe in the law. Excuse me? We didn't do anything. You locked us up. Explain that to me. Lady, I don't think you have any idea what kind of shit you just stepped into. There is shit, and then there's shit. Please, will you just stop fucking around with me and tell me what the fuck is going on? What the hell attacked us last night and why did you arrest us, you goddamn maniac? Take me to Max! Break now! What? You want to tell us what the fuck's going on? Max! I know you hear me! Fuck. Max, screaming at him is not gonna help. Are you okay? Yeah, I think so. I... I don't know. Laura? Yeah? Why am I naked? What? I mean, after we got attacked, the next thing I know, I'm waking up in a jail cell, and you're gone, and now you're back again, and, and, and I'm super naked, and there's blood and stuff everywhere. I mean, what the fuck happened? Yeah, so our host was very keen on getting me to confess, but I honestly couldn't tell you what I was meant to be owning up to. Jesus. What he used to try to get you to talk? The pincher? The blade? Three-hole punch? No, it, he wasn't torturing me. Who does this guy think he is? Well, Sheriff of North Kill, apparently. North Kill? Yeah. Max! What? 
Did you even look at the map? Hackett's Quarry in North Kill, that's the town. Oh. And it gets better. I gotta look at his name badge and... Get dressed. What's he giving you? Not gonna be the guest of honor at Fashion Week, I'll tell you that much. Hey! Did I say you could talk to each other? I wasn't aware we needed your permission, Detective Dick Whippet. <laughs> yeah, it's a free country, Officer Oat. For brains. Shit. All right, buddy. Hands through the bars. Come on. Your turn. Let's go. I'm not going anywhere. We can talk right here. Come on. Hey, hey! Let's get the fuck off! Come on. Move. Good boy. Hey! Stop struggling! Max, calm down. You're only making it worse. Laura. What the hell did you do to her? Shut up. Okay. Okay. Think, Laura, think. There's gotta be something in here you can use. Watch it, man. I bruise easily. Give me a break. Hey, the second we get out of here, you're toast, motherfucker. Sure. Second you get out. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? How'd it go in there? You sing like a canary? Nothing to sing about. I'm sure you've got plenty to confess. <laughs> well, that may be true, but I don't think he's too interested in how I cheated off Mikey Washington in eighth grade chem. Really, though? What happened? He just... he asked a lot of dumb questions. All right, I don't know. Would you get off my back? Jeez, I'm sorry. Oh, hey, did you get a look at his name badge? You mean it's not really Detective Dick Whippet? It's Hackett. Sheriff Hackett. You think he's related to Chris Hackett? Oh my god, like THE Chris Hackett? Yeah. Who's THE Chris Hackett? As in camp leader Mr. Hackett of Hackett's Quarry, remember? Man. Last night feels like a lifetime ago. The fuck does that mean though? You know? Where we set up? Maybe it's some kind of crazy camp counselor kidnapping ring. Well, that's... I mean... What? 
Like some kind of setup, a, a, a trap, I don't know. Chris Hackett and Sheriff Hackett, there's no way that's a coincidence. Okay. They must be related. Well, what does that prove? They knew we were coming. Maybe it's some kind of kidnapping, extortion, conspiracy. That's a pretty big job. I'm just trying to get us out of here, and I can't get us out of here until I have some clue of why the fuck we're in here. I don't know. What if we can't make sense of it? What? Well, you we have to. Sometimes things just don't make sense. What then? We're just stuck in a backwater jail cell for the rest of our lives? Stop. Come on, lighten up. Yeah, easy for you to say. What? Can't you ever accept what's happening? Sometimes shit is just shit. And not everything's some challenge for you to overcome. Uh, actually, yeah, it is. First, we're gonna get the hell out of this mess and enjoy the rest of summer, and then college. I mean, we're gonna freaking crush it at orientation. We gotta get all our classes down. Laura. Did you look at all the options, by the way? I mean, it's a lot easier for me because I just need the classes that'll let me major in veterinary sciences. Laura. But you're undecided, so you have to make sure you get a really good balance of Laura. everything. Stop. Why? I... I didn't get in. What? I got rejected from the waitlist. Why didn't you tell me? I... I was embarrassed. But... Your grades were good and you wrote a great essay? Yeah, apparently not good enough. Fuck! You've been making plans, Max. What the fuck? I don't know. What do you want me to say? Uh, maybe something like, sorry I lied to you and led you on into thinking we were going to college together in the fall? That'd be a good start. You see, I knew you'd be like this. Oh, fuck that. No, you lied. Just suck it up and apologize, or this is gonna be one long-ass incarceration. Okay. I'm sorry. Happy? Okay, let's just focus on getting out of here for now. Great, sign me up. We need to go over it from the beginning. Like from when we left home? Like from when we ran into the cop. So after we ran into the... Whatever we ran into? Yeah. Actually, yeah, that's when shit started getting weird. Do you think it was a good idea to have lied to him? About hitting a pothole? Yeah. I don't know. I think he probably knew we were lying. He was acting really strange. What if he's not even a real cop? Well, he's gotta be dirty, but... I mean, I think he's a real cop. We're in a police station. I mean, yeah, but there's, like, nobody else around. Yeah, that is concerning. Especially the whole hack it hack it thing. Let's just go with the idea that they're both in on it. Okay. So we're supposed to meet Chris Hackett at the camp, and instead, there's nobody there, and we get attacked by something, and then the cop shows up. That part's all fuzzy for me. Like, I, I remember the steps and a smell like wet fur and a, a dog collar with the name Ian on it. Ian? Ian. I don't think it was a dog that attacked us. Whatever it was, was big. Like, person-sized big. Yeah, it really did a number on you. Like, I'm surprised you're not more messed up. Like, like, like I vividly remember the thing's teeth ripping into you. What is messed up about that is... Laura, I don't have a scratch on me. What? Hey, okay, so weird question. Do you remember before we got lost? You got lost? Well, yeah, but before that, I was all like, whoa, look at the moon. It's so big, so cool to see a full moon in the middle of the woods, and you were all like, yeah, no shit, Max, it happens once a month? Yeah, so? Right, so 
you know, full moon. Yeah. What if? Uh. Okay. No. Stop. I'm just saying. You know, maybe there's a slight chance. It was a werewolf. Are you out of your? Goddamn mine? Where? Werewolves? Seriously? What the fuck? What? 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 What's so funny? I said literally the exact same thing. I said literally the exact same thing. Okay. Do you, you got anything better? I mean, like zombies, aliens, time hopping Draculas. Ryan, right? Yeah. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, let her finish, man. Would it really be so crazy? With all the shit that we've been seeing with Nick? With the thing on the roof? Okay, it would really start to explain a lot of stuff. Dylan. I'm just trying to keep an open mind, okay? This is like your ghost stories. How is this so different from your ghost those, stories? Those are, those are just campfire stories. Like, there has to be a rational explanation for everything, for all of this. There's more to all this than you think. Just let me finish, and you can decide for yourself if you believe me or not. I don't care. But I think you should hear all of it. The next few weeks were long. The cop kept us fed and let us take showers, but aside from that, we barely saw him. Max and I, we talked a lot, as much as we could about what happened that night. It was like trading conspiracy theories. We talked about the cop, the camp, the accident, the woods, the thing in the basement, what happened to Max. We just kept going over it all again and again, and nothing was making sense. All we knew is that we needed to get out of there. I can't take this anymore. It's not that bad. They're probably in the same crap at camp. No, I can't take being in here anymore. Oh. Yeah, well, that part's pretty tough. We've got to do something. We've got to get out of here. We need a, a plan. We well, keep saying that, but it's been weeks, so, you know, let me know if you have one. That's really not very helpful, Max. You are forgetting something. What? Just the ETBT. Tiny detail that I may or may not be a fucking werewolf, you Laura. Keep it down. So what? What can we do, really? We run off into the sunset only to be stopped when I turn into a nasty ass monster and kill you and eat you, and then I run off alone into the sunset with little bits of you stuck in my teeth? Okay, okay, stop. Just one problem at a time. All right, we, we don't even know if that's what's really going on, and we won't until we get the hell out of here. Okay. Well, it seems to me that we only have two real options. We can play nice and try to get this guy on our side. What, so he'll let us go? Or... We try to catch him off guard and make our escape. I'm not gonna be nice to this fucker one second longer than I have to. We've got to escape. Cool, okay. So how? I don't know. Knock him out? Not... Laura, you know that's kind of a movie thing only, right? I mean, you bang someone on the head, you're more likely to... Kill them or leave them with permanent brain damage, not just knock them out. Well, what can you do? Yeah. Right. Prison break it is. Can we have code names? If we're doing code names, I have dibs on Golden Thunder. No, seriously, Max, we're doing this. Okay. I'm with you. Okay. Here's how it's gonna go down. Next time he opens your cell to take you to get washed up, you jump him. You tackle him down and take the keys from his belt, drag him into your cell, lock him in there, unlock my cell, 
and then we'll steal his car and just drive right the fuck out of Dodge. Right, okay, that's not really a plan though, you know? That's just kind of saying let's escape, but with a whole lot more words. No, he won't be expecting it. We're in a routine now, we'll catch him in the back foot. Careful. Really? Careful. Ah, ah, ah. Really? Genius. But what about my shower? Shit. I said... Take your fucking cl Fuck off! Get back! Max, what's going on? <laughs> Get the fuck away from him! Come here. Get off of me! Shut up. Have a seat. Stop! Quit squirming. Said you want to be a vet, right? Call us an internship. Let me go! You're not gonna believe it until you see it for yourself. Just fucking ask next time then, dude. Jeez. Don't get too close. T, come in. What's your position? Over. Shit. Mm-hmm. Just wrapping things up here. Help! Hey, he's got his whole prisoner at the police station! Help us! Who was that? Over. Nothing. On my way. Over. That was pretty stupid. Hey, you can't just leave me here! Yes, I can. Max, tell me exactly what you're feeling. Laura, I... I don't feel so good. Not good like how? I don't know, just... bad. Come closer, let me see your eyes. I think I better stay back. Max, I need to observe you. Is this fucking close enough for you, bitch?
So much for depth perception. Let's see what that bastard cop's hiding. What's he hiding? Ann Radcliffe and Edward Benson. Wonder who they are. Not so much a hint as a slap in the face. You want to tell me what happened? I could ask you the same thing. Why didn't you run? We've got unfinished business. Like what? Like how you're gonna tell me exactly just what the fuck is really going on here. Why would I do that? Because I could be halfway home by now. But I'm not. Because I have to help Max. Maybe I can help you, too. Turn around, hands against the wall. Seriously? I am too tired to argue. But... Ugh. Me, too. Happy? I'll brew some coffee. What's this? An education. Watch. <laughs> nice job cleaning up. The eye. I mean... Harder than they make out in the textbooks. Especially when nobody's helping you. You're the doctor. Uh, animal doctor. And no, I'm not. And I probably never will be stuck in here forever. You know, just because you know doesn't mean you know. You know? Uh, what? I'm not. 
This isn't what it seems to be. You're gonna have to be more specific. You and Max are in just as much trouble as I am. My family? We didn't mean to hurt anybody. We're just trying to survive like everybody else. Do you understand? Not really. We're gonna end this thing once and for all. We? Yeah. Okay. Fine, let's end it. Let Max and I go and we'll find someone who can help. Not what I had in mind. You're seriously asking for my help? I don't want you to help me. You're gonna do this for Max, and I'm gonna get what I need. Let's see how smart you really are. What is this? Information. Well, what does it mean? Read it. When full the moon above shines first, the beast internal shall outward burst. One by one leads lambs to slaughter. It stalks your breath, but shuns clear water. And should you yourself be cursed, armed with silver and the first, when moon is full before its wane, rend the beast that cursed you slain. No longer shall you face your blight or fear the dread of full moon's light. Yeah. Keep reading. This was a mistake. Wait. I wanted to trust you. Give it here. Is that really me? Give it here! Shit! Did you try to take his gun? No! Maybe a little? It was just sitting there, I had to try. Laura! Max, what did you expect me to do? He was finally opening up to you. What did he show you? Just some shit old poem. Sounds legit. I don't want to believe him, but I don't have a better explanation. I'm just... I'm not sure none of this seems real. Who knew we'd get to star in our very own terrible horror movie? Speak for yourself. I think I'm pretty well cast. So, it isn't much to go on at all, but my understanding is that you have to kill the one above to get better. One above, what does that mean? So, someone bit you, and you won't get better until that someone is dead. Right. But it has to be done on a full moon. According to some old poem. Correct. So how? I don't know. But it means that whoever bit you down in that basement must still be alive. Otherwise, Laura, listen to us. I mean, what are we really talking about here? We're talking about killing somebody? I don't know. No. Uh, maybe. Although. By the sounds of it, hypothetically speaking, we're not killing anything human at all. 
Yeah. He said, let me in there. Chris! I know they're in there. Who? The counselors that didn't show up. How'd you find out? Bobby told me. He said you scrapped an abandoned car. A while back, I, I worked out the rest. Shit. Why? Well, why'd you think, Chris? Jesus, Travis. You're still here? That's fucked up. I fucking bit one of them, Chris. What was I supposed to do? <sighs> what was that? Be careful. It's gonna be a whole lot messier. You shot me. I'm telling you, don't you look stars and wasn't so shut up. Max! Uh. Max! Uh. What is it? Travis was just in the hall talking, the cop. So? With Chris Hackett. Was he here to let us out? No. He's the werewolf, Max. Chris Hackett is the one that bit you down on the storm shelter. Holy shit, that's... Who would have guessed? I mean, I guess, thinking about it, I could have... And yet you didn't. It all makes sense. That's why Chris's car was at the lodge that night. Travis was protecting him. That's why he followed us, and that's why he didn't kill the werewolf in the storm shelter, because it was his fucking brother. God, it's so obvious. If, if Chris was the one that bit me, then... Yeah, then that's our cure. That's how we fix you. Jesus, Laura, are we thinking the same thing? Tomorrow we're getting out of here. I'm gonna get Travis's gun and kill Chris Hackett. Hey! Hey! Help her! Laura needs help! Uh. Laura! Uh. Laura, are you okay? God damn it. What the hell's going on? Laura! Up. Get up. You picked the wrong night to fuck with me, kids! Now look what you've done. Laura? Laura? I never knew you had it in you. Yeah, you did. <sighs> what should we do about Sergeant Little Dick? Let's give him some alone time. Let him think about why he's in here. Okay. Huh. Huh. We should grab our staff. We need silver ammo. He must have some around here. What is it? I thought I heard someone. Something was here. No, I, I still can. This way. It's coming from behind that door.
There's nobody in here. What the fuck? He makes them. What is it? Shotgun shells. He loads them with silver. That's where he was last month, hunting. Well, I guess I won't be needing this anymore. Hey, I just realized something. We're free. <laughs> no, Max. We're not free until Chris Hackett is dead. And it doesn't look like we've got much time. I know, you're right, but let's just take the win for now, huh? We'll celebrate when it's over. We're going straight to Hackett's quarry, and we're ending this tonight. Camp. Left Max at the left Max at the island. Seemed like the best place for him, surrounded by water, water and all. That's it. That's the story. And I'll jump in at the same time. After you saw me at the pool, after I shot Chris. Um, I went back to the island expecting Max to be back to normal. But... Max? Ah! Hello? So the werewolf I killed can't have been Chris. That wasn't a werewolf. It was Kaylee Hackett, Chris's daughter. Whatever I shot, that was no girl. Unless, I, I guess, it turned back after I shot it when I went to the island. Wait, so how come Max didn't kill you then? He tried. I was faster. Thank you. 
We don't have much time. <laughs> oh, looky, looky. Oh. So this is our new game. Smell good, don't I? Go on, take a bite. Go on. <laughs> Dumb fucking animal. Where is Chris Hackett? Shut up. Wow, rude. Guys, she murdered Kaylee. We have been over this. Uh, Caitlin, what do I do? Oh, wow, real strong showing on the leadership front. I said shut up. <sighs> oh, no way, I am not getting involved. This is all you, buddy. Look, just think about everything that's happened tonight, okay? That's all I'll say. I'm not letting her kill Chris. No way, not, not over some old-timey poem. You want to take a look at your friend and tell me it's just a poem? Get kidnapped? Thrown in a cell? Have two months of your life ripped away and then tell me it's all just a poem? Helplessly watch someone you care about burst out of their skin, watch them try to kill you, twice, then tell me that what I'm trying to do, what I need to do, is based on a fucking poem? One way or another, this ends tonight. If you're gonna shoot me, fucking shoot me. Oh. Oh. Dickhole. Oh. So, come on, where does Chris Hackett live, when he's not at camp, I mean? Even if I knew, I wouldn't tell you. Real mature. He's not in the storm shelter, I'm clearly getting nowhere hunting him in the woods, I need a place to start. I think that spooky house behind these woods. Dude! What? Have you thought about, you know, not killing him? I'm thinking about not killing you. What? Look, when the sun comes up, I am stuck until the next full moon. So is Max, so is anyone else he's bitten. How is that our problem? Why don't you ask your friends in the woods? Don't forget about Nick, dude. Okay, any closer we're gonna have to spray you two with cold water. Ryan, let's just get out of here. I'm running out of time. If I can't find Chris Hackett, then a lot more people are going to get hurt. I'm going with you. What? what? Uh, yeah, what they said. There's no way I'm letting a murdering fugitive like you go anywhere near Chris on your own. Wow, are you flirting with me? What? No. Fine, do whatever you want. You saw what happened to Nick. He was bitten. Everything's gonna be fine. That cop car you stole, where is it? Ditched in the lake. Why? It was a stolen cop car. You're gonna have to try and fix the minivan. Get somewhere safe. How long do you have? 
An hour or two? I don't know. It doesn't seem like an exact science. Then we better get going. Are you sure this is the right way? Pretty sure, yeah. Pretty or definitely? What do I look like, a tour guide? This doesn't feel right. I think you're up to something. I'm not. You better not just be running out the clock. I'm not. So, you're a psycho. Me? Uh, shooting someone point blank with a sawed off? Yeah, that's really strange. I was scared. Come on, it wasn't even loaded. I didn't know that. <laughs> well, maybe you shouldn't have pulled the trigger then, huh? <laughs> Why are you like this? I should ask you the same thing. What do you mean? Why are you really here? I can't let you just shoot him. I'm not going to. I'm going to shoot a werewolf, which he definitely is, by is the way. Is not. Is too. It's not. Jesus. There it is. Hack your house. So, he lives in some redneck mansion with his redneck family in the ass crack of the woods? Look at this place. No, but it's where his mom lives, I think. Never been there. But if we're looking for answers, it's probably the best place to start. So, uh, wait, how do we get there? What do you mean? How do we get to the house? That's a really good question. Maybe we just don't. Will you stop protecting him? Whose side are you on? At this point, I have no fucking idea. There is a lot more to this than you realize. Like what? Kidnapping, murder, cover-ups. I think the whole goddamn Hackett family is in on it. Maybe the whole camp, maybe even you for all I know. Yeah, great. Just walk away. Oh, I'm sorry. I just figured that instead of standing around listening to you complain, I'd actually try to find another way across. <laughs> Fuck. Ah. That's gonna leave a mark. Laura? Are you hurt? It's the water. Oh, I could have died. We... We could have died. But we didn't. It's nothing, you'll be fine. And you don't look delicious to me yet, so I guess that means we still have time. Come on, let's find a way up. That's not funny. It's a bit funny. Oh my god, Laura! Jesus, Mary and Jazz hands! Here's a thought. What are you doing? Let's relax, look. Big eyes you have, Grandma. No shit! Can you see yellow in my eyes? Define yellow? Shit. We haven't got much time. Silence! Did you hear that too? It's her. Who? The hag of Hackett's quarry. It's like she's warning us off. Or guiding us. Oh, 
shit. Think anyone heard that? No, they can't have done. This place is not up to code. I mean, if the code is literally crumbling to the ground, then I think it's doing fine. Let's just keep moving. Yeah. Careful. Jeez. Just look at this place. Oh, shit. Her body. Well, where's Cave out? <laughs> Look who's finding their funny bone. A long way down. So what's your deal then? What do you mean? The whole mysterious brooding loner thing, it doesn't quite fit with the I love my camp leader vibe. So, I don't fit into the right box, is that what you're saying? And what box would that be? Nothing. Forget it. Do you always do that? Do what? Uh, start to engage in a conversation and then just immediately recoil into your shell. Maybe I don't want to talk to you anymore. Oh, wow, charming. I am assuming you're single? Yeah? Why? No reason. This way, I see a light. Yeah. Or you can just hang out here, up to you. Thanks for your help. You had it under control. Looks promising. Careful. Splinters. Thanks. I'm fine. Guess we found the party. Alcohol. From Prohibition. These are rum running tunnels. That would make that liquor almost a hundred years old. Probably still good. Good. Try vintage. Well, I guess the Hackett's were bootleggers. Makes sense. I guess when the quarry shut down, they branched out. Come on, time travel later. You think this is it? Uh, beach me. I'm pretty much completely lost. <sighs> yeah, me too. Shall we? Uh, what happened here? Eh, it's complicated. Gosh. I used to think this place was so cozy. This place, really? Yeah, it reminded me of a ski lodge. Sounds cold. <laughs> but you've never fantasized about being trapped on a remote ski resort in a snowstorm? The cable car is broken and you've only got each other for warmth. And when the food runs out, you've only got each other. Weird fantasy. <laughs> Whatever, I won't open up about my vibrant fantasy life anymore. Is that, that's what's going on in your vibrant fantasy life? It's not that weird. It's pretty weird. Okay, it's no weirder than this situation. Yeah, I guess there are comparisons that could be made. <sighs> I, I, I can't stop picturing what happened to Abby and... Fuck. Oh, let's just get the van up and running, okay? Yeah. What?
Well, let's see what the damage is. Well, fix or no fix? Okay. Can you fix it? No. Oh. Not without some parts. Specifically, a rotor arm. There's a scrapyard up the road. So you can fix it? Well, no promises, but if there's hope, that's where we're gonna find it. That sounds like a long shot. Got something better to do? Not die? Yeah, I'd like that too, by getting the hell out of here. Okay, well just because you're using logic to make sense doesn't mean that I'm totally into it. Dylan? Yeah? Shut the fuck up. Aw, uh, I'm starting to dislike you. Mm, like I care. What was that? Huh? What was that? Oh, it's nothing. We got we got guests downstairs. We don't want any more blood on our hands. What the hell happened to you anyway? Uh, it's a long story, Miles. You always got a long story. Come on, fun. Ow. Oh, get up. Stay down. Jeez, poor kid, head this big. Who's Bobby? Sure, nobody else. I don't know. No. I think we're okay. I don't think anyone heard us. I heard you. Like it's had a dose of Travis's homebrew hypodermic. I wonder who they kept in here. Jeez. Careful. The cages are electrified. Why are you here, Travis? You ought to be out with the others. Like I say, we've been all night long trying to keep those kids safe. Uh, <clears throat> it's Kaylee. She's dead. <laughs> no. Boys are bringing her in right now. Now I know you got a screw loose in that cop head of yours. There ain't no way to kill her in her kind of condition. Silver bullet. She's dead, Ma. No. No. 
No, no. No, no. Not my granddaughter. Not my only granddaughter. Not my Kaylee. Not my little Kaylee. Not my little Kaylee. Not my little Kaylee. You goddamn piece of shit. Not my little Kaylee. God damn you. What did you do to her? Man, I'm not happy about something up there. Laura? <laughs> Laura, what have you done? Have you been there before? The scrapyard? Nah, just seen the sign on my way to camp. What if we just, like, walk to the main road? This isn't the main road? No, this is all Hackett property. The main road is another mile that way. Wait, how do I know so much more about everything than you do? Wait, shut up. So basically, it's another hour walk to the main road, and then at least another three to four hour walk until we hit the nearest whatever? Yeah. What was that? Let's just keep moving. Okay. So, Ryan and Laura, huh? Oh boy. Yeah, he was being kind of a jerk, wasn't he? <laughs> yeah. She did say she had a boyfriend, though. Well, maybe he tuned that part out of her story. <laughs> Probably. Probably thinking about how he can sneak off and be all brooding under a stairway while he works on his abs. What a jerk. What a jerk. Not that it matters, now that he's off on a daring adventure with Little Miss Mysterious. How do you compete with that? Honestly, I don't know if he's worth the effort. I call bullshit. Excuse me? You're in it, dude. You've got feelings. Ryan's just gonna go wherever the wind blows him. Wouldn't be the first dude to go where he's getting blown. <laughs> Wouldn't really matter anyway. It looks like we finally know Ryan's type. Confident and heroic with an eye patch. So pirates. Maybe she shivers his timbers. <laughs> there. Oh, shit. Relax. It's a motion sensor. We're okay. I think. Oh, look. Steampunk's back in. Ew. Come on. This way. Put me down! Easy, Ma. Put me down, you old witch! Blow your fucking head up! Ah, bitch! Everybody just relax. Can't shoot what you can't see, darling. Gotcha. You'll pay for what you did to my Kaylee. You ain't hurting us anymore. You are done. Everybody stop! Murderous bitch. Ma, shut the fuck up! That ain't no way to be talking to your mother. Yes, sir. Put me down, asshole! What the hell is going on up here? We ain't keeping them safe anymore, Bobby. Not after what they did to our Kaylee.
Hell yeah, I do. Don't make me chase you, pig boy. Bastard. Dear darling. Mm-hmm. hmm I thought you were shot. I got better. She's infected. The bitch is bit. 
Oh, you're gonna shoot me again? That worked so well for you last time. Yeah! Woo! Yeah. You know, I might not have enough silver to kill you, but I could sure make you suffer. Travis, get your ass up here. We need silver for this one. Travis? Where the hell is he? Oh, shit. What's your position? Don't let her run, Jed. Cut her down. She can see in the dark. She's one of them. Where are you? I'm gonna enjoy watching you die, girl. Hey! Everybody fucking stop right now! Take her head off, Travis. She's bit. Yeah. Yeah, fill her with silver, son. Oh, good. You're awake. I thought I could feel your breath on my cheek, but I wasn't sure. I don't know if I'm supposed to kill you yet. I usually gotta wait until I'm told. No. No. You wait right here. I'm gonna ask my dad. Dad? Dad, are you there? Bobby? Travis, where's dad? I, I got a live one here, T. I got the boy. He been bit, Bobby? Nah, I don't think so. He's bleeding, though. I think he's dying. Okay, what's your position? Um, standing. No, where are you, Bobby? Oh, I'm in the old wing in that little room, you remember? Yeah, keep him there. I'm coming. Oh, trust me, he's not going anywhere. He's gone! Yo, oh, come on, man. This is you... my knife. No, please. Please. Nobody takes my knife. You stab me. You're leaking red like a juice box. No. Oh, please, you, you can you can help me. No, man, you're bleeding out. The only thing I can do is put you out of your misery. Humane life. <sighs> Oh! Laura! Oh no, you've been bit! Pick on someone your own size. Travis! 
trying to fix it. Whatever this is, people keep getting hurt. First Max, how you? I mean, I didn't want to say it, but... You shouldn't have come with me. You think? <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. Am I dying? You've lost a lot of blood. But it'll, it'll heal though, right? Wait. Maybe it, maybe it will. What? Ryan, if you let me bite you. What? If you let me bite you, it means you'll be infected, which means... Which means it will heal. Yeah. But it also means... Yeah. Yeah, I got it, Big Bad Wolf. Yeah. <sighs> Ryan, I don't have much time. I can feel it like it's fighting to get out. If you let me bite you and you heal, then... Then I have to kill Chris. It's, it's not killing Chris, it's killing a werewolf. It's saving your own life. And mine. And Max's and your friend's, too. Let you bite me. And live to kill Chris Hackett. Or bleed out and die. Pretty much. It's your call, for now. So we doing this or no? I just think, I think one of us needs to stay human. But you'll die. You don't care about that. You just want someone to do your dirty work. Oh. Shut uh. up. So it's okay for me, for Max, for your friends to be infected, just not precious Ryan, even if it saves your life. You're a fucking asshole. Bobby? Fuck. We gotta go. What? You uh. got it. <laughs> <laughs> These guys never throw anything out, huh? So, do you want to give me some direction on what we're looking for specifically? Well, most of these cars look like they've already been stripped for parts. Just empty frames and chassis, which doesn't help us much. Okay, so we're looking for... engines? Well, anything relatively intact. Got it. <whistles> Looks like we got our work cut out for us, huh? to make too much noise. Oh, right. Fuck. <gasps> Anything by you? <sighs> Not yet. Keep looking.
Uh, problem. Ah, oh, fuck sticks. I mean, there must be a way to open it. Mm -hmm. Maybe in that house thing. Let's take a look. These sons of bitches had it all planned out. Documentary. No. Shut up. Come on. Let's go. Ah! Sorry. That was scary. That's so annoying. We are being hunted by literal monsters, and this is what bothers you? Yeah, both are bad. You think Brian's okay? He knows what he's doing. Probably safer than we are out here. Come on. So, you ever operated a crane before? I actually used to be pretty, pretty good at the claw game at my local arcade. The kids used to call me the grabber. No, no, uh-uh. Oh, I hear that, yeah. Look, why don't you see if you can lower it down so I can take a look under the hood? Do you mind if I take a little protection? Uh -huh. No way, Jose. Please? No, I'm gonna be the one who's exposed out here. But you're tough. I'm squishy. Anything comes at us, I'll take him out, okay? I need all of your attention on the task at hand. You can do this. <sighs> Fine. Okay. Looks like somebody's mom never taught them how to clean up after themselves. Okay, let's see what we're working with. All right, not too complicated. Welcome back, Grabber. Now you're falling away, will you? What the hell is going on? My bad. All right, here goes nothing. You did it! Yeah. Uh, I think I found my calling. About time! <laughs> well, maybe we can see if we can try and get this thing running. <gasps> Score! Thank <laughs> you. 
Kaylin! <laughs> Getting through there in a hurry. Man, this place is huge. Might need to rest a bit. It's not too late. I can still bite you. Sorry to disappoint, but the answer is still no. Oh, don't you worry about me. I'll be fine. I'm good, actually. What are you doing? Stop it. Do you smell that? No. Never mind. Let's just find another way down. A way to Chris Hackett. Or just a way out, maybe. I'm done being chased and stabbed. Sure. And another way out. Fine. Huh. What's that? Pray for on the right track. Stay close. Yeah, all the better to see you with, my dear. Shh. Watch your step. Yep. What was that? I think. I think we found Chris Hackett. Son of a bitch.
<laughs> okay. Bring it on, motherfucker, you crocked ass cop piece of shit. I'm not scared of you, come on! Where the hell are my clothes? Should have just gone to the Harbinger Motel. Oh, fuck! Oh, no.
hopefully they realize the campus closed and try the motel up the road. <gasps> okay. Okay, Caitlin. The rain's been off and on all night. These fuckers know you're in here. They're coming back first chance they get. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Okay. I need to get to a vantage point. Let's not, okay? Better. I remember Mr. H's cheesy ass announcements. Whoa. Busted. Showtime, motherfuckers. It's been an interesting night, wouldn't you agree? The cycle continues, for some at least. I have to admit, you've disappointed me, but not as much as you could have done. We're bonded now, you and I. And though the full moon will come again and the curse remains, this night is over. Don't worry. I'll never forget what you did here. But don't you dare ever step foot in Hackett's quarry again. If I see you poking your nose where it doesn't belong, I will never stop haunting you. Wherever you go, I'll be right behind you. The breath on your neck, always just out of sight. If you ever come back, I will haunt you until the day you die. 